Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to triple try it. No, I'm kidding. No, of course not. We're playing Final Fantasy VIII. We're playing this wonderful RPG. Gonna continue it as well. And we're probably gonna play some triple triad. I, I kid you not. We probably are going to. That is for sure. Welcome in, everyone. Hey there, Lamb. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, see you in about 40. All right, enjoy the lurk from your phone. All right, gotta do what you gotta do. And I'll see you here in a bit uh, with uh, much more, uh, you'll have much more of a presence around here, for sure. Well, welcome in. Pleasant Tuesday evening to each and every single one of you. Hope your Tuesday has been a prosperous one, a nice one, a productive one, an awesome one. One of them, hopefully that the Tuesday was that way for you. Okay. Okay, so before we continue, I uh, took the I, th I think the last few minutes or so before stream to look at this uh, Reddit link that uh, Backlogic sent to me regarding uh, getting all the uh, uh, junctioning the best spells that we can be able to get pretty much at this time. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, and. Um, for and and I guess it'll last for a good long while. I mean, you can be able to get some really good Aga spells and all that stuff. So here's the one thing I just I just realized right now. We can be able to get a whole bunch of Kiragas if we buy up if if we uh, uh, convert tents, and we already have a handful of tents here. So if we look up here. If we look at the items we have here, we have six. Each each one of these, I believe, turns into like what, ten Kiragas or something. Uh, let's go to uh, ability and um, let's see. It, it, somewhere, tent could be. Uh, Don't we have that? Time, space, oh, life recovery, that's probably what it is. There you go, a one will refine into 10 Kiragas. Okay, so looking at the uh, Reddit link, which points to uh, the most uh, like optimal uh, way to, uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, convert cards and items into useful spells, especially for junctioning, and I'm looking in a C, where is, oh, there it is, yeah. So, yeah, so if we get a total of, get a total of 30 tents here, which which means buying 24. If we buy 24 tents, I don't know how, how much they cost, but if we buy them, we can convert these 30 tents into 300 Kiragas, and I think that's a good thing to do. I think that's something that we can do right here, right now. So for the rest, for the rest, for the rest, we can try to play some uh, triple triad. <laughs> yeah, I mean we have we have like at least one or two of the cards required for for other. Um, other spells other than Kiraga. Um, but, uh, okay. So, yeah, we actually do have a thing. Um, it's one of these. It's one of these here, and I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, Mystery Fluid right, right here. One will refine into 10 meltdowns. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and do this here. Let's refine all of them into meltdowns. All of them. Uh, give them to Squall, sure. All of them. There we go. And... I think we're all good here. Um... Let's go through and see what we have here. I think we sort of did yesterday. Let's not do card mod just yet. That M stone piece literally turns into anything. Yeah, I like this very much. Need to buy some more tents. 
20 Fyras. I mean, I mean, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I guess, maybe. Maybe that would be a good idea there. I is for ice. We've got all the waters that we care about. Okay. All right, well, let's go back to town. Let's take a break from, or that place right there. Let's take a break from grinding here. Let's, let's just, let's just go, go handle whatever the heck this thing here is. Handle whatever this is here. Let's go try to card it. Can we like literally card it right here? We're not gonna do a gun blade uh, or a or a gun blade strike. You just want to try to weaken it, but geez, just selfies attack by herself was able to take take that thing down, but that didn't work. I think we're we're way too OP here. We are way too OP for Balam. At least in this area here that we've been hanging out for like the past, oh gosh. How many streams has it been now? Get amount of streams. Okay, yeah, we had to go to that shop there. We overshot it. So let's go back up. Oh, 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 oh. I see a draw point. I need to draw out magic. Yeah, draw a point. Draw a point is the is the magic butterfly of Earthbound. <laughs> well, I mean, not as awesome as it, but sort of like that. Draw points are things I cannot ignore. Oh no no no, not this one. There's another shop. Okay, yeah, uh, it's it's a whole different shop. Somewhere, somewhere over here, there is a shop. This must be it. This must be it. I mean, I hope. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, we can get the sheer trigger, but we don't have... We don't have the requirements for it, or... Do we? No, we don't. We don't have a dragon fin, we don't have a spider web. We don't have enough screws and we do not have a steel pipe, but we can get a steel pipe from uh, one of our um, one of our recent cars that we picked up uh, as in recent as yesterday can um, we can be able to mod the card into a steel pipe. Okay, so yeah, this is not the shop. Shop is somewhere here. It's somewhere down here. This is where the inn was, right? Yeah, this is where the inn was. I don't think there's an item shop here, no. No, I think the item shop will be at the left side. Let's go over and uh, check out the left side. There, yeah, this, this, this should be it right here. Yes. All right, here we go. So how many tents we need to buy? 26? Can we afford 26? Yes, we can afford 26. I think we should go get our, or I mean 24. Let's go, let's go buy 24 of these guys. Let's go. There we go. And we still have enough money to buy a train ticket. Still got enough money to buy a train ticket, guys. <laughs> we still do. All right, ability. Tent. Yeah, let's give them all the Kiragas. Let's just get everything to Squall, and everything which is left over, we'll just give it to someone else. You know, we'll, we'll just do that here. All right. Uh, can we do only do... We can only do 20 at a time, or 10 at a time? Ah, okay. Okay, so the, so the tent and the number to the right of tent is what we have remaining. The number to refine is how much, how many we can, we'll work on, and we can only do 100 Kiragas at a time. Sure. Oh, okay. Let's do that, and let's go ahead and give it to Selfie. There we go. 
There we go. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. Let's go ahead and start uh, uh, adjusting everyone's junction here. Attack. Cool. All right. And this guy still has water. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'll move on to Squall and see how this changes. Dundaga 73, Kiraga at 31. Okay. And as far as his uh, junction hasn't, or his uh, uh, elemental uh, junctions haven't changed. And Neither is his other stuff here. Okay. All right. Last but not least, Selfie. Now, I think her spirit will be changed. Yep. Spirit increased. And let's go check out her, the rest of her stuff here. All right. So she has Blizzard. All right. Okay. So nothing else was learned. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, as far as like, because we didn't do any abil ability point grinding as of yet, which we, we just started. So we can go back to ability point grinding because I believe we have. Yeah, one, we have a mid magic refine here and everyone else is learning uh, some really cool, uh, either a bonus or um stat boost or a uh, or a or a, a stat junction okay okay all right so okay so we're still trying to sort out what we can do at in the time being as far as setting up our uh, characters so i'm gonna take a look at take a look at the reddit page again actually let me move this reddit page down here yeah there you go okay so i had the reddit page on the same uh browser window as uh, your guys's chat so um and just it's on another an another tab of the same browser window so i just moved the move the tab to a different browser window so i can uh see you awesome people there and uh respond to you if you have any questions or any or any interesting comments or any interesting reactions. Okay, so then at this point, at this point, let's see if we can get 10 ton berries. If we can get 10, 10 ton berries. That would be really great, because then a, a, a Tonberry card can be refined into one Chef's Knife. That's 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 one card mod uh, refinement that we looked at yesterday. I remember. And uh, I and if I read this uh, read this page here, I want to point out something interesting. So, one Chef's Knife will give us thirty death. 30 death spells and that's among the that that's good for uh, that, that's good for junctioning one of the one one of the one of the best spells here alongside Kiraga okay so now we're we're done item refining now it's all about card modding let's see what cards we have let's take a look here this guy drops a thing that'll give us water, so we're all done here. We're all done with this guy here. There you go. Here's our Tonberry here. The thing is, we have... We have... We have stuff which, which is way better. This is like, we have way better... Actually, we can refine a wedge in Biggs. What happens if we refine a wedge and bigs? We got we got like two of them, and I, I think we can only take out one per type, I believe. So if we do a card mod and then uh, check out what uh, a wedge and bigs. Oh, it's an X potion. Oh, that's right, that's right. I, I 
I remember that. I think. Oh, a cipher. One cipher will, re will, will refine into three diamond armors. Dang. Yeah, it's an elastoid. Will refine to a, a, a steel pipe. There we go. And one tonberry will refine into a chef's knife. Yeah. Yeah, we can go ahead and refine a tonberry. Sure. Might as well uh, get started, right? Might as well get started. Or maybe wait until we get a total of 10 ton berry cards. <laughs> uh, what else here? Do we have a Mesmerize? No, we do not have a Mesmerize. Do we have a Hexadragon? No, we do not have a Hexadragon. Do we have a Snow Lion? No, we do not have a Snow Lion. Uh, how about an Abyss Worm? No, not an abyss worm. Blitz? Oh, we have a Thrust Davis. We have only one Thrust Davis. One will, one will refine into one Sheer Feather. Okay, so a Sheer Feather can turn into 20 arrows. 20 arrows. And that's a, that's a rather... That's a tier 1 spell. We're looking for like tier three stuff. We're looking for the Agas. We're looking for Agas. So if it was an Aroga, then I'd be I'd I'd be thinking, yeah, well, maybe we should go ahead and, and, and consider, but no, not in not in this case here. Do we have a do we have a visage? Visage? Visage, sure. Visage? Or an imp. I don't think we have either of those now, do we? No, we don't. A Buell, Jelly, or Grat? Yes, we do. We have a Jelly. I think I remember we got we picked up a Grat somewhere. There, we got a Grat. We got a Magic Stone. They each will turn into a Magic Stone. And these are Tier 2 spells. Ooh. How many Fungoars we got? We got a Fungoar there. We got three Bite Bugs. Ooh, maybe we should refine these guys. We can get Asunas. Actually, we found out that Asunas are actually not as... I mean, they're, they're okay, but they're not as awesome as Shell. Yeah, okay. Okay, I, I guess we're fine here. So then, this is just all about... This is all about cards here now, guys. This is all about cards. We need, we need more Galas. We need more meltdowns. We need. Oh, we have an armadodo here now, do we? We got one armadodo. Yeah, one armadodo. Well, uh, a card will refine into a, a a dino bone, and one dino bone, if I have my math right here, will refine into twenty quakes. Twenty quakes, and a Gasper card. Can turn into a black hole, which we can either use as a uh, to teach Quista say uh, blue uh, a blue magic spell, or thirty demis. How many Caturcha pillars? I've got only only one. Gosh, I've got so many of these guys here. I wish I had forty plus of every single card. That would be so awesome. But no. Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, we have a... Uh, oh, we have a behemoth. Oh, yeah, we can convert a behemoth into... Oh, and you have, take, and you have 10 behemoths. Okay, uh, this is for teaching Kistus a blue magic spell here. And uh, we need 10 ruby dragons for her to learn fire breath. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm reading through another uh, of this Reddit page that was given to me uh, yesterday, and it's going through. So there, there's another section of the same page which talks about weapon materials to use to refine 
and uh, get better stuff. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, let's see, what shall we do here? What shall we do here? Probably pay for a ticket and, and be on our way. Or... Or... Let's see. Let's go back here. Let's, just, let's assess what we have here uh, so far. How's our junction system? Yeah, all, all three of these have a Kiraga somewhere within their setup here. Somewhere within there. I think we're ready to go, but before before we continue with the story, Triple Triad will pull me in, as it always does and does it successfully. Hey there, Gold. Welcome in, welcome in. A pleasant Tuesday evening to you. Good to see you here. Good to see you. Hope your Tuesday has been really well. How's Ninja Guide in progress? Did you, uh, are you practicing the PC Engine version right now? Or are you focusing on, fo focusing on any other game? Or did you do none of that stuff today? <laughs> if you had a stream, did you have a good stream today? Let's see. Um... Okay, something is up, and I think I figured out what it is. It's the ability. So I'm not a fan of using magic, but this... What I really should have is, is summon magic. We should have summon magic here, because we don't... We don't... You don't use magic here. What's the point of using magic? Well, we, we, we never use magic. We use summon magic. That is the magic for us here. Pretty good. Had a good stream. You're on Ninja Gaiden 3. It's so hard. It's the hardest out of the three NES games. Uh, you'd be saying, I agree. I agree. I think that is definitely the hardest. Um, I would say, I think the first time I played 2, I think I was coming off of like the many times I played Ninja Gaiden 1. And I swear 2, 1 and 2 are from a distance about the same level of difficulty. I think 2 is slightly... Is, Two is slightly more difficult than one, but three is way more difficult than two. I think one is the only game I legit beaten without the use of a game genie. I don't think I've ever properly beaten two, and three I haven't beaten yet. Definitely for sure. Although it could be wrong on Ninja Gaiden 1, but I swear I think I remember I beat Ninja Gaiden 1. Okay, and uh, what does Selfie have? She has no ability here, but she can, but she can welcome foes to their doom. You're learning, yeah, Gold. That's 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 really the, the I mean the, that's the best best uh, thing anyone can do when they're trying to uh, learn learn the craft of Ninja Guide playing uh, Ninja Guide in three gameplay <laughs> or any difficult game. I'm sure people get really good at games like Battletoads or uh, Silver Surfer or Gimmick or anything like that. It's all its all about learning. Took you an hour learning level 3 without damage? Damn, that's some good dedication. And that's like an hour straight without taking any breaks whatsoever. You were just, you're, 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 you had this strict focus on gameplay. Or maybe you did take breaks here and there, but that's cool. That's cool. Keep at it, man. Keep at it. Okay, so we got Kiraga. Um, the other spells we'll get via a card gaming. And I feel like maybe we should go ahead and give it a try. Let's let's actually do some card gaming here. I think we should. I think we should go for it. I think. Sid is the one that has the the best cards. Out of all the folks that we can play. I mean, we can definitely try the kid and get all of his cards, but I don't think he's going to have I somehow think there there's a there's a 
there's a difference between the people that you play cards against. I mean, th they have different decks. I think Sid has a better, a better set of cards than the jogging kid does. You're almost in 10%? Oh, nice. You're talking about like retro achievements? Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gold, you know what helps is that you, you're you're highly motivated and, and, you're, and you're also having fun at the same time. So keep on at it. Keep on at it. Okay. All right, everyone has a full set of Kiragas. Did this thing refill? Yes, it did. Stock more cures. Cure hype. Yeah, so the headmaster is going to be up at the third floor. Let's go up to the third floor. And... Get his cards. Let's go ahead and do that there. Yeah, yeah, because I, I, I believe he does have the best cards out of everyone, except like I don't want to fight the card or battle the card queen, because if we do, then she can change up the trade rules. And we don't want to do that. No, we do not want to do that. We want to change up the trade rules. We want to keep it as diff. We want to keep it as diff here. Let's go up to the third floor. I'm gonna go sip some coffee as well. Oh, hey, we got paid! You know, it'd be great if we can get paid every day. Every day we show up for work, we do our do our tasks, and then we get paid right there. That would be so awesome. Yeah, I, I used to I used to work at a, at an agency which assigned tasks to people or assigned uh, locations to work at, and we would get paid on a weekly basis. Can you believe that? Paid on a freaking weekly basis. No no joke. Yes, game of cards. Yeah, uh, three three thousand gil, that's enough for a train ticket. Oh, we already have enough for that already. We need some cards. Oh, your old job was like that gold? Oh okay. Okay. But you gotta admit that that actually was 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 pretty cool now, wasn't it? A weekly paycheck? Yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, and of course, like, you get paid for the previous week of work because it usually takes like two to three some odd business days for HR to process your your timesheet or something like that. Oh yeah, and also like filling out timesheets. Yeah, got to do that. Yep. All right. Cipher Questus Diablo Ifrit. And Minimog, yes. Okay. So we can start off with something strong here. Oh, oh we didn't sell our Wedge and Biggs card now, did we? I don't think we did. No, I don't think we did. It's just that it, it just didn't appear here because the, the cards are like, I guess, way too weak or something. Okay, so this is a good card for the bottom here. Yeah, this is a good card here. There's no way to... Yeah, our opponent doesn't have any left numbers to take out the six here, so I'll put that at the bottom. Okay, there we go. 
Every two weeks or every month is dumb. Stupid because your bill's still coming. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Like, um, like now where I work at now, I get I get a I get a paycheck every two weeks, and it's just it's just every two weeks. Um, the job I had before this one, I was paid twice per month, and it's, it's always it's always on either the first or on the fifteenth. So, yeah. But yeah, now I'm back to uh, to uh, strictly two uh, every two weeks. Okay, so how are we going to tackle this one here? He has a couple of cards to take out Mini Mog if we play some anywhere adjacent to whatever the heck that uh, our opponent just placed there. But, but. Oh man, yeah, yeah, the, the opponent really. Okay, anyway, whatever. Yeah, we can do this one here. Place this over here. He's gonna take the top left card. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. That is so very, very fair. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Right here. He's gonna take the top middle card. Or at least I thought he would. Um, okay. Um, oh... Oh, I think I see what he's doing here. Ooh, I think I see what he's doing here. I think I see what he's doing here. Um... Yeah, because if we place a Kistis or a Mini Mog card at the upper right, he can be able to take back the Malboro with one of his cards. But if we put a Kistis or Malboro at the bottom, then he can easily take the top, the, the top middle card. Okay. So I think ultimately it doesn't matter. I think we're all still gonna win. Yeah, I think ultimately we're still gonna win here. Unless he goofs up or something. Is that true? Yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. Let's go do this here. Sure, and we won. And we won! If you get $600 one time a month, you'd be okay, but the regular salary, you can't survive. Like, like almost. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. You know which, which jobs do that? At least, I mean, speaking here in the, in the United States is uh, if you, when you work for the government, you get paid on a monthly basis. I don't think you get paid. I think, I think it may be at least some jobs that do that. Either, if not all jobs, some jobs within, um, uh, like Department of uh, Department of Justice or or whatever, um, whatever government-based job, or if you work for the state, I think I think uh, some, if not all, jobs pay on a monthly basis. Okay, what cards are we gonna get? We can get two cards. Oh, we got an ab oh. We never got an abyss worm. Yeah, let's get an abyss worm. Abyss worm is a good one. It's it's on our list here. If we can get five of them. Yeah, if we can get five of these guys, that would be great. And what is a geezard? I think a geezard changes into something for. Uh, I know what it does. Anyway. Yeah, let's get ourselves another Malboro, sure. Sure, let's get ourselves another Malboro. Yay. Alright, let's keep on at it. Let's keep on at it. Let's keep on at it. 
<laughs> Man, you know what this is this is making me consider, guys? Now, you guys probably heard me say this already more than a few times, but I wouldn't mind having one whole month of nothing but pink tail grind. Of the pink tail grind from FF4. What if we had one whole month of triple triad? What would you guys think? Would you guys be would you guys be down? Would you guys be you guys be okay with one whole month of triple triad right here on twitch.tv slash ice turbo underscore? Would that be all good? Well that would you would you guys be in to watch one month's worth of triple triad? Ooh, see a cactar there. Okay, looks like they have some uh, interesting cards there. Okay, so got, so there's a seven that can go up, down, left, and right. Okay, so then the way to play this one out is let's put an Efri card at the bottom right corner. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, he doesn't have any cards to take the Malboro there. So that could be a, a thing. Oh, I know what we can do here. Yeah, we can put a we can put a Diabolus card right underneath the Malboro and he can't get any of the cards here. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one here. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. So then... Let's see, what can we do here? He doesn't have a 7 on the left side. He doesn't have a left side 7. Okay. So then what we can do is place this... Place a Kistis card in the middle. Which will, will obtain the Cactar. And then their next move, the only card they can capture is, is the Cactar, if they place a card at the upper right. But that's okay. That is totally okay. We can easily recapture their card here. Yeah, I think this is a good plan here. There we go. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Yes, indeed. And good move. Can't be able to capture it, but hey, at least we won. Yes, we won! Four cards! Oh, we can get a Cactar card. And the El Noil Chimera. Ooh. Ooh, we can get we can get uh, materials for uh, for some uh, ultimate weapons later. If we if we get an El Noil, that would be great. If we can, but let's see what else what else from this list here. Chimera, is there Chimera anywhere on my list here? I'm I'm looking at a list here, guys, of um, of. Uh, best cards to obtain from Triple Triad, like for for um, card modding and then item modding uh, purposes here. Okay. Oh, Chimera, yeah. Let's definitely get a Chimera. I'm gonna get Chimera. And then what else? Grab a Cactar, because we know, I don't think we've ever obtained a Cactar as of yet. Um, El Noil, okay, whatever that is, and let's grab myself another Malboro, sure, yes, there we go, keep on at it, let's keep on at it. We love ourselves in Triple Triad, but you know what else I like? This coffee I, I made for myself before stream.
I see a Tonberry card there. Gotta grab one. Okay, this is good. We can get ourselves a bunch of Tonberries here. We hang out here for like another half hour-ish or so. <laughs> All right, so we go first here. All right, um, okay, so uh, this time around, Sid here has a couple of cards with sevens on them. The Ruby Dragon one at the t at the very top of his uh, pile is the one that uh, you need to be concerned about. And he has the, the bottom card with the seven at the bottom. So, that is all good. I'm going to place an Ifrit right square in the middle. Bottom middle, that is. All right. Okay, he decided to play his... Uh, Play as Ruby Dragon. All right, that's interesting. Okay, so then we will play. What are we gonna play? We can play our Diablos up here. Let's rock! Let's rock like Mega Man there, rocking like the Mega Man's right there. Gold Buds Mega Man's rocking, rocking and non-stopping. All right, so here we go can't get any of these cards yeah that's a nice card right there that is one nice card right there nice card uh, yeah let's go play the mini mug you can either go at the top or at the bottom yeah actually Yeah, the best play is to put a mini mug card at the top because he only has two of his three cards that can be able to reclaim the Tonberry. But of course, I think the AI here is smart enough. I think Sid's smart enough to, to use the right card here. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, um, all right. Um, sure. Whatever you say. Whatever you say there. Um, um, okay. Okay. Let's put a... Cool... Kiss this right here. No, no, no. Not kiss this. Decipher. Alright. Fair enough. Never stirred the games in the game. <laughs> uh, trust me, I felt the same way when, when I first played Final Fantasy VIII. That's how I felt. I thought, I thought, what is this all about? And, and this, th this, this game within a game. This isn't just some, some simple, like, a casino game within, like, uh, within Dragon Warrior Four. You know, it wasn't some simple casino game. This is all fleshed out and there's like logic and uh, complexity. <laughs> I mean, I bet that that's actually, you know, from the grand scheme of things, this is quite an admirable uh, effort. Kind of quite an admirable thing to see here. Okay, anyways, grab a Tonberry. Uh, ooh, Deathclaw. What can... I don't think we ever obtained a death claw. I'm not sure if it changes into anything useful. No, but let's go grab a death claw because I've never gotten one. Uh, yeah, Ruby Dragon. That's one that we can use to turn into something. Oh, f oh, we can get flares off of them. We can get flares from them. Yeah, we can get flares from him. Oh, what was the El Noil? Oh yeah, El Noil was for an, an ultimate weapon here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go grab an El Noil. And... One more card. Which one? Cactar or Ruby Dragon? Let's go Ruby Dragon. Sure. Sure. Yay. Alright, now before we continue with the, with the cards, more card gameplay here. Let's go check out um, check out what the cards can mod to, especially the 
a cactar. A cactus thorn. One we'll find some one chef's knife, windmill, bomb fragment. Ten will we'll refine to one inferno frame. Ten will refine to one energy crystal. Ten will refine to one regen ring. Yeah, the chimera was. Yeah, to get a regen ring. Yes, this is a. Um, this is part of the. Part of uh, Renoa's ultimate uh, weapon uh, materials thing. Death claw. What one will refine to one sharp spike? <laughs> Okay. All right. Did you miss anything, Lamb? Uh, no. We were just um, uh, we were just uh, re refining items and refining uh or uh, playing cards. Uh, the the item refinement we we've done were uh we we bought twenty six tents so we can be able to afford it, so, and we uh, or twenty four tents that is because we already had six available, in order to get a grand total of thirty tents. We then took those 30 tents well I almost said something lewd there we we uh, converted those 30 tents into 300 kiragas we gave gave each of our active party members 100 kiragas and so now one of their stats have been buffed up a little bit so yeah we're we're trying to get get quite OP here at this stage of the game. And we're going to continue playing cards and obtain more cards. I'm going to be focusing on getting certain cards like Tonberries and um, a few other uh, items as well. Have I been back to the garden room to fight things and stuff? No, no fighting as of yet. It's been, it's been all... Uh, pretty much for the most part uh, card uh, card games do you recommend that we do that lamb before we uh, finally buy the train ticket <laughs> we still got to buy that freaking train ticket yep I see a tonberry right there and what's the worst here okay so got a Two cards with a seven at the bottom, one card with a seven at the top. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do an Efreet in the bottom middle. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's a Tonberry. Oh, that's a Tonberry King, isn't it? That isn't just a Tonberry. It's a Tonberry King. Okay. Okay. Do we have the card to take down Tonberry King? No, we do not actually. We did have the card, but we used it already. <laughs> we'll have one card there. I mean, the best one, because I I don't. Oh, you know what? You know what? I don't think there's a way that he can be able to recapture his card once we capture it. Yeah, so we can go. We can go, kiss this right here. Yeah, I can go kiss this right here. There we go. There's a T-Rex in the garden room. We can turn him into a card. Can't remember if it's a good card or not. T-Rex? Let's see. Is T-Rex on our list here? I don't see this amongst the... The, the magic junctioning. I mean, what it'll apparently turn into magic that we can be able to junction. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. Yeah, I don't see it there. I mean, I, I mean, I guess maybe we can try. I mean, just for the sake of getting a card. Okay. So. That's the card he's playing. So what card can we play? Oh, we can put a Diablos at the upper right. Either a Diablos or a or 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 a Cypher. I would say 
probably Diablos would would make the most sense. Yeah, let's, let's go let's go place a Diablos card right here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go check. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. Just gonna go ahead and give us the game here now, right, Sid? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We won still. <laughs> we'll get four of his cards. Get four of the cards. Tonberry King. Uh, Snow Lion! Yay! We got a Snow Lion finally! We'll get an El Noil. El Noil uh, refines into uh, into an ultimate weapon material. And between Gizard and Cactar, we'll go with Cactar. Yes. Cool. Yeah, the snow lion can turn into a hundred Blazagas. Yeah, we can go. Far we can continue farming off of this guy here. Go farming off of Sid here. Curiosity look at Tonberry King. He just has a 7 at the bottom, but mini Mog. All, everyone else is much better. Yep, let's go. He only has one card with a 7 on it. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, well, we'll go with that. Definitely go with that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do this. We can put a kiss this card right up here. And he he has one card he can use to obtain a card after this. I wonder if he's gonna use it. No, he didn't! Okay. I thought I was going to use the the second to the bottom most card to get the top left card. Okay. Okay. So there's a 5, 6, and a 1 at the right side. 5, 6, and 1 at the right side. So I'll go use an Efreet. No, if we use an Efreet here, we can easily take any of our cards. I'd be really careful here. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go put an E Freight right here in the bottom middle. Okay, there we go. Going clockwise, starting at the top, 4, 6, 2, 7. 4, 6, 2, 7. Going clock, oh, going clockwise. There. Oh, f so it's 4 at the top, 6 at the right, 2 at the bottom. And seven at the left. Oh, okay, that's um. I mean, that's okay. Actually, actually, no. We have better cards than that. No, it wouldn't be spoilers. Go ahead, Lamb. I mean, I, I'm literally looking at a, at a at a linked list of or a a a, a page. I mean, Backlogic sent me a page of stuff that what it'll turn into. So yeah, go ahead. No, it's definitely not spoiler. I do appreciate that you're asking, but yeah, no, it's not spoilers. Go ahead. Go ahead. Spoil away. Let's go back and forth here a bit. Oh, I see. Oh, that's that's impressive. That is impressive. That is indeed impressive. There we go. Two T Rex R cards refined into a Dino Bone with Kenza Coddle's card mod ability turns the Quake with Diablos' time time manga are also need to for crafting twin lance and exit or weapons. Quake's an excellent soul to have early and thus worth collecting. 
T-Rexar cards for card modding purposes. However, it takes two Rexar cards to make one Dino Bone, whereas one Armadillo is needed for the same item. Oh, um, well, I, I mean, I'm not really like I, I don't I don't feel like it's high priority to get a T-Rexar card because uh, yeah, we're looking at an Armadillo, and in fact, it does say to. It, it does, or actually, no, it doesn't say anywhere here. Oh, oh no, it does here. Um, yeah. On the list, the, the page I'm reading here, it says five armadillos can, can turn into five Dino Bones, which will then turn into 100 Quakes. And it also says, also two, there's where I swear I've seen this before, two T-Rexors makes one Dino Bone, which makes 20 Quake. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, cool. Well, I appreciate you letting me know that information there. Yeah, definitely. But I think at the rate, I think, uh, unless that T-Rex are, is it, is it a, does it like respawn after we capture it or something or card it, cardify it? So we can just go, go back and forth over and over again and we can easily, I mean, it depends on how, what is the best method to get like 300 quakes? Is it via, via card? via the card game or, or a respawning T-Rex or It does, Lamb? Okay. Ooh, we got a Blood Soul. You get a Blood Soul and a Tri-Face. Oh yeah, Tri-Face. One Tri-Face can turn into a Curse Spike and the Curse, curse Spike can turn into 10 Pain. Uh, Armadillo. There you go. Here's our Dino Bone. And we're gonna get ourselves a Blood Soul here. Hey there, Captain. Welcome in, welcome in. A pleasant Tuesday evening to you. Good to see you here. We're, we've been mostly playing uh, this wonderful game here. Called Triple Triad. It's not called Final Fantasy VIII. It's actually called Triple Triad. I, I, I think they couldn't go with Triple Triad the actual real name of this game we're playing because I, I think at the time Triple Triad was uh, I think I think it was trademarked you know kind of like how like Dragon Quest was Dragon Warrior you know yeah, it's the same thing here it's only many years later that Square now Square Enix can re-release this game as its true name Final Fantasy 8 but this was loving, lovingly known as Triple Triad Anyway, or, uh, or 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 you can just ignore all of what I said there. That, that that's also quite acceptable. Blood Soul. I thought I saw a Blood Soul somewhere here. Oh, he had a hundred zombies. Let's go grab a Blood Soul anyway because we, I don't think we ever gotten a Blood Soul. Here ourselves another Chimera. All right, let's keep on at it. Keep on at it. Yes, keep playing cards. So those of you that have just joined here, yeah, welcome in, welcome in. So we weren't playing exclusively Triple Triad for the past hour. We actually started stream with uh, going to Balam's uh, item shop and we purchased 24 tents and we had six already with us. So the, with, with a total of 30 tents, we modded each of those tents into Kiragas. And so what resulted is that every single, every single one of our active characters has 100 Kiragas and it's a tier three spell and they were stat junctioned and our uh, characters are much more uh, resilient and powerful as a result. And yeah, so then, and then after that, we'll be playing nothing but this wonderful card game here. Such a, such a very fun game. Ooh, Tonberry King. Tonberry King, and where is just the plain Tonberry? There's a plain Tonberry. Okay. There we go. Ooh, I seen uh, was that an elastoid? I seen I seen an elastoid there. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a... He has a card with a 7 on the left, and he has a card with a 7 on top. Okay, 7 on the left means that Ifrit will go at the bottom, bottom right corner. Or you can put Kistis at the middle left. We can do that, but the Kistis card is very powerful. Extremely powerful. Okay. Yeah, let's go, go put it... Yeah, so let's just err on the side of caution and place a card at the corners. There we go. Okay. So there's a one and a two card there. Okay. Let's see. I'll play this one right here. Let's play this one right. So we can put a Diablos card right here. They can't be able to get the Diablos card, but they can be able to get the get the Cockatrice card. Let's go ahead and do that there. There you go. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. He has one. Okay. Let's make him use. Let's go ahead and make him use the, um... Let's go ahead and make him use the... I think that's a Chimera card he has there in the middle of the three he has left. Let's make him go ahead and use that. And we'll go ahead and place this right here. Oh, okay! As he decided not to, I guess? Oh, that's actually a good move there. That is actually a stellar move. Quite a stellar move there. Stellar move, yes indeed. That's a, that's actually a really awesome move. Yeah, we're Yeah, this is this is serious business here. This is definitely serious business here. Yeah, so let's see. Put this here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll win. But we'll only get like two cards or something. Let's see, out of these. Oh, this is a fast Tito Colon F. Is that. That's. Oh, okay. I thought there was a fast Tito Colon M or something. I thought this is a female. Is there a male version or something? Anyway. Uh, Fungalar! Fungalar! Let's get a Cockatrice because uh, this will be our first time that we picked up a Cockatrice. Okay, and between an Elastoid and a Chimera, what do we want? Do we want an Elastoid? Elastoid will teach us Berserk, but also give us a Steel Pipe. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, Chimera would be good. Where did I see Elastoid? Steel Pipe for Berserk. Yeah, I think that's the only one I see. Yeah, that's the only one I see there. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's instead get ourselves a uh, Chimera. Sure. Let's keep on at it. Come on, you should have more Ton Berries. You should have... Come on. Give us some really good cards here. Play some good cards so we can take them from you. Oh, there's a Wedge Biggs there, I see a Malboro, and I see another Chimera. That's a Blood Soul there at the bottom, and the top one is a Festita Cologne or something. Okay. So yeah, this one, Ifrit, can go at the bottom right. Yeah, Ifrit at the bottom right. Yeah, bottom right. 
Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's put a cipher. Let's put a cipher right. Actually, actually no. We can put a Diablos at the bottom here. Bottom or a or, or left, middle left. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, all right, well, this is simple. You just put a mini mog at the at the top middle. That'll take the... Take the Marlboro for a while. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, guess what else we have here for you? All right. We won! We get four cards! Alright, Malboro for sure. Chimera. Thank you for the GG there, Lamb. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Wedge. A Wedge Biggs card uh, refines to an X Potion. Yeah, we don't need any more of those Fasteta Cola owns or whatever. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Why did he get four cards, Lamb? Oh, um, I, I can I can try to briefly explain. So uh, yesterday, it was informed to me. Uh, Backlogics mentioned this, and that is uh, there is this character called the Card Queen who hangs out like right in front of the train station. She looks like uh, she kind of looks like a like a like a like a like a, a girl with a kimono or something. She's called the Card Queen. If you engage in battle with her, or uh, or I think I think in a card, I think it's a card battle. What she does, she she influences the rules, the the way the cards play within a general region of where she resides in. Which is for now, she's in Balam. So we played a game against her, and just by merely doing that the trade rules changed. So it went from trade rule being one, meaning that if you win the battle, regard I mean regardless by what margin, you only get one card from your opponent. We lucked out and only interacted with her via card match once, and that alone changed the trade rules from one to diff. Diff means you get to take more than possibly more than one amount of cards. And the way you can tell is by the amount of points that you're ahead of your opponent. So in our last game, you've seen that we won seven to three. So we, the amount of cards we took from our opponent was the difference of seven and three. And so once we're going to play Sid again here, the rule is not going to change. You didn't know that, Lamb? I, you know, I'll be fair and say that I didn't know that either. <laughs> so now, if we play another game, we beat Sid. But this time we we win six to four. So then we will have the luxury of taking two cards from the opponent's deck. Because it's because two is a difference of six and four. And that is considered the best trade rule. Actually, there is a trade rule we can get all of uh, you can get all cards. I've heard that that's possible, but I think for now that's like th that's the best rule there. But however, in order to keep this rule here, we must not partake in a battle against the card queen. I and I believe in the understanding is while we're still in this 
in this region here, in the Balam region. Uh, you know, Lam, you're probably right, but you know, so far we haven't. Listen to me now and believe me later. I, that's what I'm saying here. I, I, I mean, I mean, this is back logics here. He he gave us this awesome rule. Let us know how how, how trade rules change and stuff. And 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 back logics. What 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 an awesome awesome entrance. <laughs> Welcome in. Pleasant Tuesday evening to you. We were just talking about this uh, this tr uh, this uh, um, trade rule here. Lamb didn't know about, um, and as I didn't, about how you can tra uh, change card rules uh, via uh, interacting with the card queen. This entrance was brought to you by Ice Turbo. Yes, Ice Turbo. The most iciest of turbos. <laughs> it does go the other way around as well, Backlogix. Okay, well, so far we haven't lost. We, we weren't able to see it in front of our very own eyes here. All right. Think about it. Back in the day. But yeah, back logic so was am I remembering our conversation right or maybe I'm not, but is but is there a trade rule trade rule all? Like once you win the game you take all every all the opponent's cards is that much later than the story i mean is this like is it is it like post disc one or something or is it something we can like legit like right now be able to uh to set for this region let's go play Oh, you can get it from the Queen of Cards before? Oh, dang, okay. Ah. So remind me again, the back logics, that's only a one, is that only a one-time interaction with the Card Queen un un until, until I go to a different region? Or can I talk with her again and have her change the rules again? Oh, the all rule also causes the... Oh, I get what you're saying. Okay, yeah, all right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think... Okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I'm on board with that back logics, yeah. So, diff, I think overall, within, like, many uh, card plays, we, we, we net in more cards over uh, in the long run. She's supposed to move on from Balam, but she, you're not sure if she has yet? Okay, okay. Well, we last checked. We, we went over to the item shop to buy some tents, and I still saw her there. She was still there. Ooh, okay. Looks like there's a gay, gayser or something like that there. And there's a flan. Wow, what, why did he... Why did he put up his best card, like, right there right now? We're like, okay, sure. Sure, we can we, we, we can handle that. Or actually, no, we can't. Actually, uh, no, we can put a we can put kiss this on the middle left. Kiss this on the middle left would be really good. Yeah, middle left. Go. Cool. Okay. okay let's go put a. Cipher at the top right. <sighs> okay. All righties. Fine game. You want to be that way? You want to be that way? Okay. Sure. We'll play your game. We'll play your game. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, we can definitely. Yeah, it's called a gala. All right, not a gazer, a gala. And what's the other card? Oh, blabra there. Why is it called a blabra? It looks like a freaking flan. Why on earth? There we go. All is great in short bursts, but diff is the one that's better for this point of the game to get collecting done faster for a modding. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. So maybe all will have its uh, 
like its benefits will be more uh, more uh, realized much later in the game, probably. Okay, uh, grab ourselves another uh, another gala. I think a gala turns into something really good. Yeah, backlogic. I've been using your your Reddit page. I have it right here. Have a, I have your Reddit page here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a get a gala. And get some meltdowns there. Grab myself some blabra. Uh, maybe a death claw. Let's get these two here. And there we go. Yeah, very helpful. Yep. You caught on quick. Yeah, me too. I had to just re just skim through it a few more times and all of a sudden it started clicking <laughs> i mean we've been playing we, we've been we've been playing triple triad already for like what almost how many streams now three four streams seeing so many of these cards uh oh yeah no no, no. i want to play cards with you here yeah play cards oh nice smt5 you don't need another RPG to put in the library. Yeah, I can hold off on it. I I, I trust you. You you have the you you can resist temptation. But I do have a question. Is that is that vengeance or vanilla five? I'm assuming Hill's vanilla five probably got it on sale. Oh, it's vengeance. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Awesome. Awesome. Pulling yourselves a Tonberry. So here's the thing. This is what's uh, pulling me into Triple Triad is grabbing Tonberry cards and um, the, the bottom most card uh, on his deck, whatever that's called. Uh, they um, turn into some awesome, um, awesome stuff. Oh, Vanilla 5 never came to PC. Oh, okay. I actually didn't know that. I did not know that. Switch exclusive. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. Switch exclusive. Yeah, Vanilla 5 never made it to any, any of the other consoles. Yeah. Yep, and I enjoyed 5 on the Switch, and I'm looking forward to playing. I mean, once I find time to play Vengeance, got all these freaking games to play. <laughs> I have the same problem as you. All right, so we got... Okay, the Malboros, the nastiest of the cards there. So you got 7s. Top, right, and bottom seven. Top, right, and bottom seven. Okay. Doesn't have a left seven, so we can put an Ifrit at the bottom middle. And we should be all good. Bottom middle. Here we go. Okay. If you're really wanting to meet the Persona and SMT series being your next series of playthrough and focus on. Yes, that sounds good. Yep, sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Persona and SMT, they both uh, share uh, similarities there. Oh, have you ever played Soul Hackers 2? That was released like, I think a few years ago or so. I'm not sure, if that was on Steam, of course you probably would have played it, but I remember picking it up on PS5, but never playing it. I've heard mixed uh, reviews of it. And that's, uh, and Soul Hackers 2, is uh, is also part of the SMT slash Persona universe. That's why I'm asking. You haven't? You want to play the first one, but it's on Steam and see. You? Okay, okay, figured so. Okay. Metaphor riff on Tazio, the star-studded lineup for development. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too, me too. It's like it's a game that plays like Persona, but without the social links. That I am looking forward to as well. I have it pre-ordered. I think I have it pre-ordered on. Um, on VGP. Not the first time I pre-ordered from from uh, VGP, Video Games Plus. It's it's a Canadian website. Soul Hackers, Digital Devil Saga, all those games. Yeah, I haven't played Soul. I haven't played any of the Soul Hackers games. Um, I have the original Soul Hackers on on the Saturn, which is in Japanese, and I played the. The, the 3DS um, uh, remaster slash remake. I haven't touched that yet. I did play all of Digital so De Devil Saga. It is a wonderful series of games. It's it's two it's it's actually um, there's actually two parts to it. So if you do start on Digital Devil Saga, start on Digital Devil Saga one. Don't play two 
before you play one. Yeah, and it's just a duology, just a two-parter. Okay. So if we take out the Tonberry with a good card, there would be no way for him to obtain the Tonberry because he doesn't have a seven on the left side. Yeah, there's no seven on the left side. So I would, I believe, probably use either a Kistis card or Diablos can work also. Uh, no, let's go Kistis. I think Kistis is better here. Go. Uh, there we go. Your achievements tracker finally works. Oh, what is that? What is your achievements tracker? Just, I mean, just in general, or is it like a, is it, are you talking about something like a, a tracker, uh, like a plugin for your, um, your, your live stream setup? I'm assuming you're probably talking about the former. Oh, the alert that pop. Oh, nice, nice, cool. Well, that's good, gold. That's good. Good, good to hear. That is very good to hear. Okay. Um. Yeah, he has ways to obtain our card. That's okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I hope he uses... Okay. Okay, so, uh... Let's just do this. Um, all right. Okay, that's a good play, actually. You know what? That's actually a really good play. That's a good play. Good play there, Sid. Good play. Good play there. There we go. It's pretty lame without it. <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay. Oh, I mean, it's it's good that you have it working. I know it sucks that you didn't have it, but now that you do, that is awesome. That's cool. Let's get ourselves a Tonberry here. Let's grab ourselves an Abyss Worm. Let's grab ourselves an El Noil, and let's grab ourselves a Triface. Hey. Keep pocketing them Tonberries. Keep doing it. Keep at it. Man, we are we we are so great at this game. We are so great at this game. Well, oh, Tonberry King moved up here. Yeah, this is still our card set is still supreme. Supreme. Okay. Okay, so it only has one, one card there, the seven at the bottom. So we can, of course, put an Ifrit at the bottom here. Won't be able to take it and all. Okay. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, he has oh he has a way to get both cards there. Yeah, that's right. He does. He does. Um, let's see. What would be the best? Use Kistis or use Mini Mog. Let's use Mini Mog. Use Mini Mog there. Ah, darn. Doesn't, he doesn't want us to win by any other, any margin larger. Top card in the middle, this one right here, Cypher. Cypher in the middle. Top middle. Okay. No, because then... 
No, that won't work because if we put Cypher there, then he's gonna then he's gonna then take Cat Turch a pillar with his uh, top uh, the, his uh, first of the two cards. Oh, it should have been the previous play. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, he's. Um, 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 Never mind. Okay, there we go. You're still. Oh, I'm still right? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Two cards. Okay. Oh, we got a Gim 47N something. There we go. And what's this? I, I can't touch a pillar. Um, let's get ourselves another Gala. Yay! Yeah, me too, Lamb. Me too. <laughs> The worst, the worst uh, result we had so far was it was a push, or a draw. Let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Oh, let's keep at it. Duh. He has a card with the seven at the bottom, card with the seven at the left, card with the seven on top. Okay. Okay. Um, so no Ifrit at the bottom middle. So Ifrit can go at the bottom right. Is that right? Bottom right? Actually, a few ways. You can even go Diablos at the top left. Or we can go Cypher at the top left. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got Diablos. And anyway, let's just do this here. Sure. I like this one. Okay. Using the strongest card there. Okay. Okay. Okay, Cypher. Cypher card right here. Top middle. Okay. <sighs> All right. So let's see if use a. Uh, he has a Diablos card, or if he has a Mini Mog card, he has two cards to obtain Mini Mog. One and three. If he's Diablos, he also has two cards there. Okay, let's um. Use Diablos right here. There we go. Oh, he didn't take. Okay. 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 Smart play. Okay. Yeah, it's a smart play. Smart play on his part there. Smart play on his part. Yeah, he can get both cards there in the middle. But what if we prevent it? How would we prevent that? I don't think there is a way to prevent it. Or is there? I think there is. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, that was a good play by his part. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there we go. I think if we 
I, th I think if we went after some cards, we would have lost our 7-3 to three advantage. Somehow I felt like this was the best play, to sort of just play neutral the last few moves there. Although I could have been wrong, but <laughs> that felt like the right right way to go about it here. Elastoids will we'll, uh, can mod into a... Oh, this is the, the actual true Festita, Festi, Festita Cologne. And let's go grab this guy here. And there's a Forbidden. Ooh, five Forbiddens can eventually turn into Confused Spells. Nah, I think we're okay there. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and grab, uh, grab Elastoids, uh, Elnoil, and let's say anywhere what a Forbidden would turn into. A Forbidden turn into... Anyway, I don't know. But I think we do have a Forbidden already. Let's go grab another Forbidden, sure. Yay, alright. Okay, one more. One more game. One more game, guys. One more game. <laughs> one more game. Well, where's the Armadodo? Where is the freaking Armadodo? Where is it? Oh, I see a Tonberry there. Nice. All right. Uh, seven at the bottom. Seven at the left. So seven at the left and bottom. Okay. So this time, okay, Ifrit, we can't put it at the bot at the middle bottom. So let's put it at the bottom right. Okay. <sighs> All right. So how are we gonna play this one here? He has only one card he can use to obtain his the, the what would be the captured Festito Cologne once we uh, grab the Festito Cologne from the bottom. Um. Yeah, I can go put a Diablos here. The Diablos here. He, he's gonna use a Wedge Biggs then to reacquire the Festito Cologne. Or at least I thought he would. Okay. He he's actually he's actually saving his Wedge Biggs card there. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, smart play. Smart play there. That's a good play. So, let's see, yeah, if... Yeah, if we place a mini-mog in the middle, then we can't be able to recapture our mini-mog. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Let him take it. Okay. Sure. Sure thing! Sure thing! Sure thing! Okay. Let's see. So, he's gonna have a... He'll have cards with... Either there's gonna be a 5 at the left, or a 4 or a 5 at the right. Let's go kiss this there, and okay, grab another four cards, alright, Tomberry King, uh, Iron Giant, Wedge Biggs, and yeah, might as well this guy, there we go. Okay, now how many of these Tonberries have we... Do we have a total of 10? Thank you for the GG there, Backlogics. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel like we'll, we'll take a break from Triple Triad once I see that we have a total of... Uh, 
we have a summary of 10 of the following um, of uh, of ton of, of any of the Tonberry cards. And we're going to go ahead and then change them up here. Okay, three Tonberry and two Ton. Okay, so we're halfway. What, the, the Triple Triad is the most addictive game ever? Is that what they say? It's an addiction. Triple Triad is an addiction. Oh, a break? Oh, there you go. That's what Nintendo, I mean, since like what? The Nintendo Wii was reminding people to take a break every now and then? Or oh, that actually happened earlier. Wasn't that, um, oh, that was Earthbound. Earthbound first did it. Yeah, our, our, our dad calls us and, and tells us how much he worries about us, deposits some money in our bank and tells us, hey, I think you should take a break here, right? Like right in the middle, like right, right as we're about to walk into a, the door of a boss fight, <laughs> we get interrupted by a call. Oh, I just, I love Earthbound. Anyway, um, let's go with our usual set of cards here. Yeah. Hey, before I go way off on a tangent. All right, looks like we have a behemoth there. Looks like we have a behemoth there. A behemoth. It's just right there. Yes, yeah, put the E free in the corner here. Oh, he's using his behemoth. What the heck? That is so weird. Why place the behemoth right there? I don't get it. I don't get you, game. I do not get you. Anyway, let's go put uh, Kistis here on the middle left. Okay. Okay. Great play. That's actually a really great play. I, I can't argue against it. Cannot argue against it. So what are we going to do here? Uh, probably... What? Cypher... Here or... Yeah, let's not use Minimog. Let's not use Minimog as of yet. Yeah, not as of yet. So I'll put Cypher up here. Yeah, Cypher up here. Okay. 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 Sure. There we go. So got our seven to three. Seven to three. All right, let's grab ourselves a behemoth, a triface, a, a blabra, and uh, these two that I don't really care about. Let's grab ourselves a. See how it says a funguar. Looks like a fungi. That funguar, fungi. Like he has a. He he decorated his his mushroom cap head. He made it look like a like a cool looking umbrella, like just a a very basic vanilla colored umbrella, because that's the style. That funguar is a fungi. Alright. Alright, let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Yes. It's all about the tonberries, guys. All about the tonberry. And looky here, we have a Tonberry here in play. All right, so this may play out very similarly 
He doesn't have a 7 at the left, so he can put an E-Free card in the middle. Yeah, if we put an E-Free card in the middle, it's going to do that. Okay. Okay. Alright. The thing is, though, we will put a Kistis card at the middle left, and then Sid will then place a card at the bottom left, and we can't be able to ever, ever reach it. Yeah, that's, uh... Not an ideal play there. Yeah, let's actually place something at the bottom left. Let's go ahead and screw him up here a little bit. Yeah, what, what's a card we can put there? Um, oh, we can put a mini mog. Yeah, let's put a mini mog. Yeah, let's put a mini mog right here. Mini mog at the corner. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So they're doing the same thing. <laughs> They're doing the same thing here. Alright. Alrighties. Alright. Let's see. Two, three, six. Yeah, I can put a Diablos right here. There we go. Okay, well this is a bit more interesting now. This is a bit more interesting now. Yeah, so if we put Kistis in the middle, it'll overtake the red bat that we would just acquire. And we'll end up winning. We'll win 6-4. to four. Hey there, Dark. Welcome and welcome in. A uh, pleasant Tuesday evening. Hope you had a pleasant Tuesday evening there, Dark. Um, who did I lose on card game? Who did I? I didn't lose anyone. No, I think that one time we lost, I think either we soft resetted or we just reacquired the card we lost. I, I don't remember what it was. It was one of the original uh, times we played, one of the first few times, where the the trade rule, the winning rule was um, if, if I win or if the opponent wins, only one card is taken from the opponent deck, from the, the opponent's deck. And yeah, even if we did lose it, I forgot what it was, but it's kind of a trivial thing at this point. We, we probably have already reobtained the card that we lost originally and then got more of that same card. But no, we're on the winning streak here tonight, Dark. Yeah. Collect all them Tomberry Kings. Grab a Triface. Yep, that's it. Those two are good enough here. So now the, the card... Uh, the, the the trade or the the winning rule changed. So it, whoever wins the card game gets the amount of cards, which is the, which is the difference between the points. So if I win seven to three, so then I get I, that means I obtain four cards from my opponent. If I win six to four, then I obtain two cards from the opponent. But the same rule also applies on, on the other side. To keep playing. Get more of them Tom Berries. I'm focusing on Tom Berries because they will eventually they will eventually become after a couple of uh, steps of refinement. Where did I have Tom Berry? I had it set aside somewhere here. Where are the Tom Berries? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, well, we can eventually get a bunch of death spells, which are considered like some high, high tier spells. But then we also get others, other awesome cards as well, and get many of them. You see, we have four Wedge Binks cards. Each card can be refined into an X potion. I mean, this early on in the game, we can get X potions, which are typically 
typically potions that we find like towards the towards the like the end game in in the in the SNES Final Fantasies. Okay, I see an elastoid there. Um, yeah, I see an elastoid there. That's the one I, I, I uh, immediately recognize. Okay, so there's a seven at the left side, which means that Ifrit will go at the corner instead of at the at the bottom middle. Okay. Okay, so then. He has a couple of cards to reobtain whatever card he just put up there from the top. And a couple of cards to obtain from the left side. Okay, let's try let's try to uh, let's try to grab the card he just placed from the from the bottom. So let's place a uh, cipher card. Yes, yeah, put a cipher card right here. Okay. That's cool. That is fine. That is fine. Ah. Yeah, so I think here it would be best to put a... Was that a mini mog? Yeah, if put a mini mog here. Yeah, let's put a mini mog right here. There we go. Put some card there. We can go ahead and reacquire the card. Reacquire the card. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, indeed. Okay. Sure. Two cards. Which two cards are we gonna get? Oh, this is a different. Oh, we got a we got a, a Sam whatever number G, and this is a different one. Okay, cool. Let's grab this one. And let's go Armadodo. Armadodo. Yay! All right. All right. Okay. Let's keep playing. Let's keep playing. Okay. Once we reach a two-hour session mark, promise, guys, we will reach a two-hour session mark. And uh, we'll, we'll start doing something different. I swear, guys. I swear. Tonberry. And then the top card, whatever that is. Those are our two cards there. Okay, we got a seven at the top and a seven at the bottom. Okay. So, yeah, Ifrit can definitely go. We'll keep Ifrit in the corner. I like having Ifrit in the corner. But I think here Ifri can can still hold their own at the bottom middle. But it seems like the bottom middle, like like it, it tends to be more often than not that the opponent gets gets a free card uh, spot or something. Um, what if we put Diablos at the upper left? Only Ifrit is vulnerable there. Okay. Yeah, let's go try that. Put, let's put Diablos at the upper left to break things up here. Okay. So let's see. So if we put E free here, we obtain the Abyss Worm, but then we're left vulnerable. A couple of sides. Anyway, let, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put let's go put a abyss right here in the middle. Sure. Let's do that. Okay, sure. That sounds good to me here. Let's see. Yeah, 
Yeah, though, I don't think that was a good idea there. Yeah, I do not think that was a good idea to do. Okay, anyways, let's just put this here. Up, uh, okay. Up, uh, okay. That's interesting. That is indeed interesting. Cool. We won. And we'll get four cards as well. Alright. Bisworm. Tonberry. Deathclaw. And... Let's get a Gesper. Sure. Bill's yellow. Bill's yellow. I think it was meant for us to, to recapture. And so how many more Tonberries do we need? We need like, what, three more? Three more of them Tonberries? Let's go play it one more time. So we can't be able to get a hand from Sid where he has both a Tonberry and a Tonberry King, apparently. But I haven't seen them yet. I guess I can't, we can't really rule out that possibility though. I mean, we definitely can't, but you guys have been seeing the same thing that I am. I mean, I, I mean, it, there's always been at least one or only one Tonberry card, either a Tonberry or a Tonberry King. No Tom Berry there, but I see a Gala there, and that's a good one. It's a good card for us to get. Okay, a seven on top and a seven on the bottom. Okay, so uh, yeah, E three and put right here. There we go. That neutral spot right there. Okay. So then, like usual, we'll put Diablos right here. And he's going to put a free card at the bottom left, isn't he? No, he didn't! Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's see. How would we... How can we play this so we can get better than a 7-3 to three win? What would be the what, what would be the strategy here? Which card would we put at the bottom left? What would be a good card to place on the bottom left? I mean, what else can he be able to do then? What can Sid then do? I mean, I guess we can be able to find out. We can definitely find out for sure. We'll give it a shot. Um. Yeah. yeah, let's go put the mini mog right here, sure. Sure, okay. Sounds good there. Sounds good. Cool. Alright, so we got it. We'll grab our uh, whatever card there was. There was, an, there was an interesting card here. There you go. Oh, Armadoto and Gala. Yeah, I'll get both of those guys. There we go. Yeah, Galas are good for um, obtaining meltdowns. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Keep playing, guys. Alright, two hour session mark reached. We're still, we're still playing card games. <laughs> Ooh, there's a... Oh, what is it? A, what was that one called? Oh, the Snow Lion there. The top card, Snow Lion. It's worthwhile to obtain. And there's a there's a uh, Chimera at the very bottom. Okay, seven top. Two cards with a seven top. Okay. Well, that's all we got to worry about. Okay, let's put an Ifrit right here. Bottom middle. Okay. 
And then... What's next here? What the is the next to here? We got some weak left numbers. I just realized that. We have some weak left side numbers. They're actually pretty weak. Pretty weak. It's okay. I'll put a Kistis card right here. Okay. Okay. Okay, we can't do much here, unfortunately, because then our card will be taken. Can't be able to reobtain our card then. Okay. So, uh, I guess good, good move. Good move. Yeah, okay, let's go do this here. He'll take the Cypher card. At least I thought he would. At least I thought he would. Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh, alright. <laughs> alright. At least we pinpointed... We pinpointed at least a couple of cards we'll take. So we'll take a Snow Lion. And, oh, between the Triface and the Chimera. Okay, I gotta check my notes here. What should I get? Triface or Chimera? What would be preferable? Triface or Chimera? Let's see, Chimera's. Yeah, you'll either or. Either or would be fine. Let's go for a triface this time. Okay. All right, let's go check our card inventory. Now that we reached the two hour mark, let's check our card inventory here. Check our card inventory here. What do we got here? Six Chimeras, two Elastoids, four Malboros, Three Tonberry Kings, four Tonberries. Okay, so we're we have seven, seven down. Three more Tonberry Tonberries to go. Okay. All right. All right. Let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Oh, I got a Tonberry here. All right, cool. All right, seven top and bottom. Only one card, seven top and bottom. So that's that Ruby Dragon. Okay, so e free right here. Okay. Yeah, Diablos is the only one with the strongest left number, I noticed. Yeah, that's what I noticed. The strongest left number, and we always use it. It's like, we can do better than that. We can definitely do better than that. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. We don't have a good left number. I noticed that. Yeah, our left nu our left number game is pretty dang weak. Pretty dang weak. Yes, it's weak. Um, let's see. Hmm. So what if we put a card here? Yeah, let's put a card here. So four and six. Okay, sounds good. Well, uh... Oh, interesting, okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Cool. 
Get four cards. Yes, we will. Get our eighth Tonberry card here. Grab an Iron Giant. Grab a Ruby Dragon. And we'll grab... Sure, I'll grab a Gasper. Sure. Sure. All right. Two more Tonberries to go. Two more Tonberries to go. Yes. Let's play more of Triple Triad. Oh, hey, see a snow lion there. Oh, Cypher's up down there. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Um, actually, hold on. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We always tend to go first. We always tend to go first here. Okay, so because... I, I want to change it up so we don't use Ifrit at first, because Ifrit's the only card with a strong left number. Yeah, uh, every other number seems to be pretty... I don't know, not not that strong. Pretty not that strong. Uh, there's no left 7 on their deck, so we can do Kistis at the middle left. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. And then what else can we do here? But Cypher... Up here, or... Uh, oh, there's no left seven, so yeah, we can actually... We can use Ifrit, but I don't want to use Ifrit. Let's go use Cypher up here, sure. There we go. Okay. And now we can use... Yeah, we can use Ifrit here, actually. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Should we? Sh should we, actually? No, let's use Diablos. Yeah, let's use Diablos here. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I think we'll eventually win here. Um, actually, hold on. We're gonna end up losing a card anyway. So let's go ahead and put a, uh, a mini mog here. It'll be taken. Oh, oh, never mind. We won eight to two. Oh my goodness! We'll get, we'll get, we'll get all of their cards. Is this the first time? This is the highest ratio. The highest r ratio here. Is that a full hand actually, Backlogics? Oh my gosh! This is the first time. I think, I think this is literally the first time I've been this, like, I don't know if I ever did that way back when when I was uh, a, a youngin. Man. Oh my gosh, that looks cool. I didn't even have to bother selecting and highlighting and choosing any of those cards. Thank you for the GG's there, Backlogics. Oh my goodness. So we netted what? That was a Tonberry now, wasn't it? Oh man, this is the first time ever. First freaking time ever. Um... Ah, oh, it even remembers which card we used to have. Creeps. And we had it and we uh, used it for, uh, uh, for, for Kistis. Okay, you gotta stop calling her Quistis. I mean, I see the Q. That doesn't necessarily mean I have to pronounce the Q. Come on. Anyway. Uh, Tonberry. Okay, five Tonberries and three Tonberry. Okay, we, we, okay, we still have two more to get. Okay, that probably wasn't a Tonberry. Yeah, Snow Lion does Blizzard. Yeah, indeed. Yes, that's why we were we're we're also farming for Snow Lions. We're uh, farming Armadotos for the Dino Bones, Galas for the Meltdowns, Triface for the Pain. 
uh, Tonberry for the deaths. Um, what else? Uh, Ruby Dragons for Flare, but yeah, it, that's going to take a while. And yeah, Snow Lines will turn into North Wind, and uh, one North Wind is worth 20 Blazagas. And Abyss Worms can turn into Tornadoes. Yeah, so that's what we're doing here. Yes, indeed. That is what's up here. That is what is going on. Yeah, I gotta say, I won that last hand, and I and I can say RNG was in our favor. And it wasn't in Sid's favor. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that our uh, our cards, uh, our, our cards that we play, we have a weak left-sided number. It's quite weak. You have to do something about that. Yeah, I, I won't be using. I'll, I, I instead of using Efreet up front at first, I'll save Efreet for like the last last half of gameplay because his his left-sided eight is quite good. It is a quite a good. Yeah, so let's put a Diablos. Let's put a Diablos up here. That makes sense. The Diablos up here? Sure. There's a card right there. Okay, that's okay. Uh, that is okay. That is okay. Oh, he has a he has a left seven. Okay, so he has a left seven. Left seven. Okay, use cipher at the corner or should we do cipher at the corner? Let's go mini mog here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go play mini mog. Sure, sure. Let's go do this. Sure. Okay, now we can play cipher at the middle here. Cipher at the middle. I think we may get a push here. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Yeah, well, 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 I think we'll win six to four. Okay, that's okay. At least we got, at least we won six to four here. Okay, uh, Armadodo and Elastoid. All right. Okay. Still, still needing two more Ton Berries. Let's go for them Ton Berries. Yes. Tonberries. Uh, should we go for a Wedge Bix card or a Mini Bog card? I wonder. Wedge Bix has a strong left number, while Mini Mog has a very strong top and bottom number. Maybe Wedge and Biggs would be good here. Maybe. Yeah, let's go Wedge and Biggs this time. Yeah. Okay, good. Good stuff. So, okay. Opponent doesn't have a seven. No seven. Yay! No seven. That's good. Good stuff. Good for us. Good for us. Yeah, let's go use a Diablos over here. Yeah, Diablos over here should work. Yes. He'll take the Bloodworm, probably. Okay, no, you didn't. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, I'll put a Wedge Bigs card there at the middle right. 
and I think he'll end up taking the Wedge Biggs card. Okay, sure, as expected. And then... Oh, okay. Darn, okay. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we'll do... Yeah, I mean, I, d I didn't even... I didn't even take into effect that once they take the Wedge of Biggs card, we can't reacquire it. Uh, or, uh, or else it'll be really difficult to do so. Yeah, cause we're gonna end up losing a card. Yeah, we're gonna end up losing a card. Let's see. Which way will we go about it then? We go here. Yeah. Um, sure. Um, okay. Okay, so then he'll end up taking a card anyway. Yeah, so, best to play Kiss This than Ifrit. Kiss This here, and then he'll end up just taking the Cypher card, and we'll win anyway. There we go. I don't think there's any possible way to win better than 8 to 2, right? I think that's the best, I mean, that, that can be done within, uh, or with, or, or like, that, that's the highest you can ever, uh, score, I take. Anyway, we got, thinking about taking, let's take some cards, take a Triface, take an Armadodo, let's take, uh, oh, I don't know, Forbidden. And then we will take a... I saw a Blood Soul somewhere here. <sighs> I haven't seen many Abyss Worms, unfortunately. Of course, I haven't seen a, a, a lot of them. Oh, Blood Souls can turn into a zombie. Can turn into zombie. And what do Ochus turn into? I don't think I see Ochus anywhere here. No, I don't see Ochus. Um, let's go grab an Ochu anyway. Oh, hey, hey there, one. Welcome in, welcome in, and thank you for uh, for the stretch your mind to redeem. I'll go ahead and, and, and do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch my arms all the way up into the sky. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to break free of the of my confinement here break through the ceiling and reach up into the cool and uh, refreshing skies up here yeah yeah trust me was, I still have a roof here <laughs> I still have a roof still do thank goodness still have a roof over my head all right oh boy And yeah, this this is all that we've been playing all all night so far tonight. For the most part, we did uh, purchase some tents and then converted some tents into kiragas, and then latched those kiragas over to some to some stat junction. And then all this time we were card game playing. All right. Ugh. I uh, felt good. All right. One, thank you so much for the Stretch Reminder Redeem. I'll go ahead and mark that as complete right there, right now. Uh, there we go. Yeah, one, welcome in. Pleasant Tuesday evening to you. Let's grab our cards and we're going to continue on. Yeah, we're, we're on the pursuit for a couple more Tonberries. Just a couple more. That's all we need. Just a couple more. Just a couple more.
Nope, no Tonberry here, but we'll still play it out. Seven on top and seven on bottom. Okay, seven on top, seven on bottom. And we're playing with the mini mod card this time. Okay. So let's see. What if we put a mini mog? I kid you not. Let's put the mini mog somewhere in the middle here. That just that that just won't make any sense at all whatsoever. Now would it? <laughs> no, I figure it wouldn't. Okay, let's let's go put a Diablos up at the corner here. Okay. Okay. All right. So you put a. Kistis card at the top right. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Kistis card at the top right. Or a cipher. Or Ooh, we can put a mini mog. Yeah, perfect. Put a mini mog right here. There we go. Alright. Sure. Sure. Okay. Okay. Alright, so then. Cypher or Kistis at the middle left? Either one. Which one shall we prefer? I'd say Cypher. Middle left. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Gotta be, gotta be really careful here. Got to be uh, the careful here. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll play the freak here, and this one will end up taking one card, but we'll win. There we go. There we go. No bite bugs, you got a Kimura. And yeah, um, do we need any more of those Gim robots by any chance or Sam? There's a Sam robot also. I don't think the Gim whatever GIM actually turns into anything useful now, does it? No, it doesn't. So let's go grab a cacti. There we go. Well, there we go. Keep on at it. Keep on at it. Still gotta get them Tonberry. Still gotta get them Tonberry. Yeah. There he is. I see a Tonberry there, and I see an Abyss Worm. So if we if we happen to win, we'll definitely get those two cards. We will definitely get them two cards. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's put a Diablos up here. Upper left corner. There you go. That's the card we want right there. That is indeed the card that we want. Definitely freaking Italy. Definitely need, yes, we do very much need that card. Do 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 do. Let's see. Let's see. Definitely have some potent, uh, potent numbers. He does have a seven at the left, though. Seven at the left. And he has a six at the right, which you can take the cipher card. Okay, yeah, we need uh Yeah, we need to play this right here. Actually, yeah, let's uh Let's put her over here. 
Okay, sure. Sure thing. Yeah, I don't think this is I don't think this is good card play here, but you know what? That's okay. We'll we'll roll with it. We'll roll with this here. Definitely roll with this. Yeah, we'll definitely roll with this here. Okay. Fine. There we go. We won. We'll get the two cards we want there. Okay. Abyss Worm and Tonberry. Yay. Alright, one more Tonberry card. Just one more. Just one. Uh, just one. Come on, give us a Tonberry card. Come on! Give us a Tonberry card. No Tom Berry card. That's okay. Okay, seven at the left, seven at the top. Okay, so uh, I guess the same deal. Let's see. Um, so seven at the left and top. That means we can actually use a cipher card. But cipher has a good num has some good numbers there though. Yeah, Cypher has some really good numbers there. Those are actually some high numbers. Yes, I want to save save usage of the Cypher card. Yeah, let's put a... Oh, we can't put an Ifrit there in the middle. Let's put him in the corner. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Yes, we shall. Do 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 do. Actually, um, let's go with Diablos. He'll take the top card, which is okay. And then we'll use a mini mug right here. Okay. All right. Okay. Huh. All right. We're sort of in a predicament here. Sort of in a predicament here. So I'll put the card here. This will take us out. All right. Anyway, sure. Okay, it's gonna be a push. Sure, okay. Sounds good. It's okay. There was no Tonberry card there, so I don't feel too bad. I don't feel too bad. I don't feel too bad. Come on, give us a Tonberry. Give us a Tonberry. There he is. And we're always starting first. We are always starting first. Yeah, let's go Diablos at the at the upper left. I like it. Oh, what is it? Oh, there's a left seven and a and a bottom seven. Okay, left seven and a bottom. Okay, I'm glad this is this is the right play here. This is definitely the right play. He does have a left seven. And no way to take the Tonberry once we acquire it. Um, if we can. But he can't take our Ifrit though. Yeah, he can take our Ifrit. Which is okay. I guess. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Took our Ifrit. And let's see. I guess I can take Kistis here. 
either Kistus or Deathclaw will be taken here, but I like... Let's go with this. Okay, sure. Sure. I think this will guarantee our win here, at least. Yeah, this will guarantee our win. And we're gonna get a Tonberry! Tonberry! And we have a Behemoth here also, right? Yep! Tonberry and Behemoth! Okay. Okay. Does that equal 10 Tonberry cards? Does it? Let's go check. Let's go check. We spent two and a half hours playing pretty much nothing but card games. Seven regular Tonberries and three Tonberry Kings. Yay, I think all of I think that's, I think we did it. Now let's double check if we do a card mod. Tonberry and Tonberry King will each, can each be modded to the same item. It should be the, the Chef Knife, I believe it's called. Um, where is it? Where are they at? Where are they at? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I should be, okay. Yeah, okay, one will refine to one Chef's Knife, okay. And, okay, refine to one Chef's Knife, okay, cool. Yeah, thank you for the GG's there, Backlogics. Yay! I think we're pretty much done for now. I mean, I don't want to go way too overboard. Let's do some progression. I know some of you guys, Lamb, you're probably looking forward to some story progression here. <laughs> but which, were, which was v very much and clearly lacking yesterday. Yeah, let's go get all them Chev's Knives. There we go. All right. And Chef's Knife. Okay, using L Mag RF. The L Mag RF. Chef's Knife. One will refine to 30 deaths. Okay, let's go give everyone, everyone deaths. Uh. No, I don't think that'll be a good idea. It's like, yeah, we should probably do three. Okay, 90. And we'll go uh, 90. And we'll go 90. And then we're gonna go ahead and give, do this here and then just give do a partial transfer of magic from Kistus to everyone else. Yeah, it's gonna give some to Zell. It gives some to Zell. Make sure he has 1200. And then same thing, but to Squall. And then same to Sophie. Give all. Yay! Alright, so then we can do the same for whatever else that we've obtained here. Okay, so um, just want to follow along with the linked document here. Uh, is there anything else we have here? Chimera can turn into regenerate. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Um, Let's card mod chimeras wherever they are. Where are chimeras? Oh, we need a total of 10. Ah, I see, I see, I see. We need a total of 10, okay. And what about tri-faces? One will refine until one curse spike. Okay, um, let's go ahead and refine all of them. To six curse spikes and let's now do a particular refinement ST mag let's find those curse spikes or we'll find them into 
Think, should we keep one cursed spike? Oh, yeah. A cursed spike can teach Kiss this uh, ugly magic. Let's go ahead and refine just um, five of them. And let's use a curse spike. Teach a spell to kiss this. Okay. Okay. What's next here? There you go. See, we're we're um, we're smartly using uh, the spoils of our triple triad victories here. <laughs> All right. Uh, cards. Go back to card here. Let's go see what else we can do here. Okay, elastoids. Yeah, there, there was this huge deal about elastoids, or I guess maybe it sounded like I was making a big deal about them. Um, oh, there's a glacial eye there. I saw glacial eye somewhere up here. Glacial eye, okay, wherever. Maybe, maybe I was mistaken for something else. Anyway, um, elastoids. Oh, there's somewhere here. Where are them elastoids? There they are. Three of them. Oh, whoops. Oh, I didn't choose uh, card mod. Okay, let's go choose card mod. And where are the elastoids? There it is. There they are. Okay, so we can get three steel pipes. Is there any other use of steel pipes other than other than obtaining berserks. So I saw Elastoid mentioned somewhere else here. Is that... Is it weapon materials or... Okay, I mean, I mean I've just seen Elastoids mentioned once here and I think that's it. Okay, okay that's it. Let's go grab three steel pipes. And then, whoops, and then we're going to go ahead and turn these steel pipes, let's take Mangar RF, we're going to turn these steel pipes into Berserk spells. Give them all to Squall. There we go. Give them all to Squall. Card mod, okay. What else do we have here to work with? Ruby dragons. Ten, we'll refine it to one in front of thing. Okay. Okay, snow lion. Where is a, a snow lion? We got like three of them. Okay. Our snow, um... Do we need north ones for anything else other than for spells? Okay. Yeah, we're all good here. Okay. Snow Lion. Need to do uh, IMAG RF, Ice Magic Refinement. I believe that's what that stands for. North Winds, get them Blazagas. Get them Blazagas. Okay. Uh, Abyss Worms. I thought I seen them in two places here. Yeah, we need two Abyss Worms. The two windmills we get from the two Abyss Worms for Renoa's ultimate weapon. And then the remaining ones we could use for Tornado, probably? Or maybe we can worry about all that later. Yeah, let's go grab them tornadoes. Yeah, let's go refine the abyss worm cards. How many do we have? Like two or something? We didn't get we didn't get very many of them. Oh, we got four. Oh, never mind. We almost got all five. Okay, and we use T Mag R F. Mangar F. Give them all to Squall. Give them all to Squall. At least for now. 
Okay, let's go card mod. Okay. Oh, we have galas. Yeah, galas can turn can can then can be converted into whatever it was. Meltdowns. Yeah, we need, we need meltdowns. Or the mystery fluid. Okay, mystery fluid. Where is mystery fluid? Oh, it's okay, so it's ST Mag RF. I think he already has 20, so we'll give him. Um... Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, oh wait, is that right? Oh, is it ten? It's ten. Oh, it's ten meltdowns per one, right? Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, okay. So it's one to ten. Okay, I thought it was like one to twenty. There's a whole bunch of these which were one to twenty here, and I was just getting, I was getting confused there a bit. Anyway, all right. Back to card mod. Let's go back to card mod. Uh, Glacial Eye can give us can give us some Blazaras. Definitely give us some Blaz. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. Ah, shouldn't be hitting my hitting my wire there. Anyway, uh, let's see. So we have and Glacial Eyes can go to Blazaras, but okay, we're. We're okay with Blazaras here. We have the Deaths. Chimeras. Sam 08G turns into Running Fire. Oh, oh, that that's a... Running Fire is, 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 is going to turn into a Blue Magic. Let's just go ahead and take care of that here. Go teach that to Kistus. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to not call her Quistus. I'm trying. I'm trying. So far. So far, so good. It's been more than a 50% uh, success rate in pronouncing Kistus's name correctly. And hopefully by the end of our Final Fantasy VIII uh, sequence of streams, I should, at going forward, always call her as Kistus. Okay, anyway. Yes, heat your Gatling gun. Go ahead. Yay. She knows how to summon a Gatling gun. Yay. Alright, so what else? Let's go back to card modding. Okay, what else are we going to be doing here? What else are we going to be doing here? Okay, so we we took care of, I think we took care of Snow Lion already, right? Did we already? I think we did. Yeah, I don't see Snow Lion anywhere here. Iron Giant was part of an ultimate weapon recipe or upgrade. Nine of them. We need nine Iron Giants for three Star Fragments. I mean, yeah, we can hold off on the Iron Giants. We just we can just keep them there. We're in no hurry. We are in no hurry. Oh, eight Malboros can turn into two Malboro tentacles, which is uh, required for Kistus' ultimate weapon. How many Malboros do we have? Five. Oh, <laughs> we only get one of them tentacles. Hey there, Bahamut. Welcome in, welcome in. A pleasant Tuesday evening to you. Hope your Tuesday has, has went Great. Good to see you here. We've been playing nothing but card game here. And uh, we're just looking through all these cards that we've obtained, refining them, and uh, ju try junctioning them, teaching Kistus uh, more of her blue mage spells and all that stuff. And we have yet, we have yet to continue on with the story this week. <laughs> 
Yesterday, we didn't budge an inch, and I feel like tonight we actually will do some story progression. I, 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 I feel like we would. Just don't take my word. We, we may very well just play triple triad for the, for the rest of the night, but I think, I think we're going to go ahead and muscle up the courage to buy that train ticket. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, how many El Noyles do we have? How many of them El Noyles? Oh, we have Armadotos. Wasn't there something Armadotos can turn? Oh, Dino Bones. Oh, we got six of them. Yeah, let's go refine these guys to Dino Bones. Sure, let's do that. Sure, let's do that. Okay, Dino Bone. We have to use Time Mag RF. Turn to 20 Quakes. Okay. Alright, let's go teach Squall of the Quakes. Yeah, teach Squall of the Quakes. Go and teach Zal the remainder of the Quakes. Okay. Okay, um... Uh, I think that's everything unless... Unless... We can refine Gespers. Get Demis off of Gespers. Yeah, I think we have like two Gespers. Yeah, two Gespers. Sure, let's go refine into two black holes. So a black hole was an item you used to teach Quistus. Ah! A black hole is an item which you teach Kistus. Kisa Tisa. That is how her name is. Kisa Tisa. Just note to myself. Kisa Tisa. Anyway. Black hole. Let's go ahead and, re <laughs> let's go ahead and refine it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, sh I, sh I, sh I should know better. Come on. I should know better. Anyway. Need more of them demis. More of them demis. Okay. Go back to card mod. What else can we mod right here? Um, oh yeah, Belhamel changes into something. What does a Belhamel... What does a Belhamel turn into? Oh, death! Oh yeah, no, no, no. We don't. We don't have to. We can keep him here. A thrust Avis turns into some. Turns into arrow, which is okay. We we don't really care about that. Uh, forbidden turns into a betrayal sword. Ooh, that sounds like a cursed weapon. No, we don't want that. Ochu tentacle, shark, sharp spike, cactus thorn. Bomb turns to a bomb fragment. Oh, that's very original. That is quite original. Ten fast ammo. Yeah, we'll leave these guys here alone. Jeez, a hundred black holes. Jeez, okay. All right, I think we're all good here for for our uh, our card modding and refining. I think we're all good here. Now let's go see, like, like if we do auto junction, what's going to happen? Let's go take a look. Okay, this looks more like it. This looks much better. Okay, so got water and shell. Oh, pain is up there now. Nice. Sleep. And silence. Good. Okay. Okay, this is acceptable. I'll accept that. Okay, and then... Um, and just move on and work on others here. They already had some spells given as like a as a spillover, but we're gonna have to uh, uh, eventually look into moving a lot of uh, unused, uh, unjunctioned magic spells from Squall's inventory over to the others. Okay. Nice. Okay, so this magic ability was improved. Okay, 
So maybe we can do better here. Maybe we can do better. Okay, so she has death as well. Okay, everyone, everyone has 100 death. And water there. And Kistis doesn't have anything, now, does she? Yeah, no, she doesn't. Okay, um, let's go ahead and start moving some of Squall's higher level magics that he's not using at the moment. Like Meltdown, Demi, Kiraga or something. Blazaga Tornado. Yeah, let's go start giving him the selfie here. Or, um, yeah, I'll start with Tornado. I should start giving, let's give him to Zell here. Yeah, Zell doesn't know Tornado. Yeah, give all. And then, um, Blazaga as well. Just give him everything that just give him everything from Squall and we'll just move from whatever whatever we give to Zell and Zell doesn't use them, we'll move over to Selfie. We'll just do it this way. We're gonna make uh, Zell be uh Try to make Zell be competent as competent as possible in in uh in fighting and stuff. In the melee attacking. There we go, okay. Alright, um, anything else? I think that's all from here. Yep, I think that's all from here. Okay, now it's gonna go, let's go back here and let's re-junction Zell. Let's go auto-junction with attack. Will anything change? Doesn't look like it did. Nope, doesn't look like it did. Okay, so then we'll uh, move on to... We're gonna now do the same thing we just did with magic, but this time we're gonna go from... We're gonna go um, from Squall giving to Zell, move on to Zell giving the um, residual spells over to uh, Selfie. I guess we can call them residual spells. Whoops. No. Okay, I need to know how to menu here. Anyway. Selfie! Give Selfie all these. I wish, could, I wish I could make wonderful use of them. Wonderful use of them. Um, she doesn't know Demi now, does she? No. Let's see if she can make good use of Demi here. Okay. Now let's see what auto-junctioning selfie would do. Oh, she got Tornado. Okay. Cool. She has Tornado. And... She stole water. Okay. Okay, all good. Okay. I believe we're all good here. So how does it look like here? Yeah, Zell has a strong magic stat. Squall has the highest strength stat. And Selfie has a stronger strength stat than Zell, surprisingly. She has the highest spirit. Okay, interesting. We'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. We, we do know for sure that Squall can hit hard. <laughs> he definitely can. Okay. All right, as we're approaching the three-hour session mark here, let's finally, let's finally do some story prog <laughs> progression here. All right. So I noticed that uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to... I'm going to modify my uh, personal, um, I have a personal document here open, as I mentioned yesterday, of uh, notes 
that I copy over from the walkthrough that I've been working, uh, 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 playing alongside of ever since the beginning of our uh, of our Final Fantasy VIII streams. So it's it, it's seeing stuff that I don't agree with here, like card modding the Quistus card. All right, that card modding the Kistus card. No, we don't want to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna backspace that out of existence here. Um, and notes about card playing. Well, we already know that. You missed two days of triple triad. <laughs> uh, you've seen at least a little bit, though, right, Bahamut? I mean, you know that up to this point, we we have the game. I mean, I mean at least the game rules so far up to this point down. And we've been, we haven't lost a game tonight so far. The worst is, I think we, we, we only, the worst we ever got was, was, were uh, draws. And we had only two draws. And there was one game tonight where we won the, uh, we, we won the, op the opponent's entire deck. We got all five of their cards. We won with a ratio of eight to two. First time today. First time ever during our Final Fantasy VIII gameplay here. Alright, and so I also have notes here for um, suggested refining and we don't need this because we're all uh, we're already super duper refined or we know I mean we're we're we have a, a really good source to use. Um Oh, and additional notes about uh, curse spikes from Triface cards. They turn into pain, and we already took care of that. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this one little note about Gala cards. Yeah, we, I think we still have yet to obtain, like, all the meltdowns. Anyway, we're not done as of yet, though, because th there's still a few uh, a few stat junction abilities that we have still yet to learn. So we'll go back to all this. We'll go back to playing uh, Triple Triad probably tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and continue with the story here. We've got to save. Can't forget to save here. Definitely cannot forget to save. Definitely not. Do do do. Let's save the game. Cool. All right. Um, is there an? Can can we sleep in our? Oh, we should probably sleep in our in, in our dorm. Yeah, we should probably do that. Free in stay, guys. I have a free in stay here. Yes. Let's all rest. There we go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right. I have 12,580 gil. Definitely plenty of money. We definitely have plenty of money for uh, the train ticket. So I'll make our way over there right now. Three hours in, guys. Many a uh, card games played. And now we're going to mosey on and do some story progression here. Now, apparently that train conductor that we were, um, were to uh, buy the ticket from, apparently he can uh, engage in a card battle with us. So 
so we, we may get around and uh, do just that after whatever it is that we need to take care of here. So yeah, those of you that were here to uh, enjoy the the triple triad madness, hope you guys enjoyed the card game. The rules may slightly change as we progress through the story. And it'll be definitely a, I guess a learning experience is very fair to say, but in, from a technically it would be a relearning experience for me. <laughs> but all in all, it's like, as I mentioned, this is like, I'm playing the game for the first time a second time. Keep drawing them cures. Oh, look at the, the waterfall in the background. That looks nice. Does that look nice? Does that make you thirsty? Makes me thirsty, that's for sure. Yeah, and Bahamut just, in, I mean, that's okay. It's all right that you missed out on Triple Triad because this is not going to be the, the last time we'll, we'll ever play Triple Triad. We're definitely going to be playing Triple Triad many more times during the course of our Final Fantasy VIII gameplay. That is 100% I, I, guaranteed. My statement, I mean, you can bet on it. You can bet on my words. We are definitely going to be playing more Triple Triad as we continue playing this wonderful game throughout this month and the next. Okay. So we have some money and we can... We can um, buy some potions and stuff. We can buy some stuff here as well. Oh. Excuse me. All right. Um, two potions. Let's buy th thirty of them. Should I buy thirty? Sure, it's by thirty. Uh, Phoenix down antidote. I'm not sure if any of these are. Uh, Ammo that attacks all opponents. Ooh. Is this for the, the gunblade attack? Private train cabin ticket now first class. Yeah, definitely for sure. I, I'd be totally down with that. First class, that means I, I can have a, un, unlimited amounts of... Uh, unlimited amounts of, of uh, fresh ice water... Uh, obtained from the Alps, served in a in a in a uh, amazingly clean glass, with with uh, really nice crystal clear ice cubes, and I I, can, I have an unlimited amount of uh, requests, and that's the amongst the 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 simple pleasures of of riding first class. <laughs> Fuel for a rental car. Okay, we'll we'll just grab a we'll grab a tent here. Sure, I think we're fine here. The train to Timber's here. Please purchase a ticket. Uh, actually, hold on. Can we... Oh, we can play cards with them! Dude, I didn't know we could... Oh, okay. I thought I was mashing squared this one time, and I never got this particular prompt from him. Uh, yeah, I do want to play you. Okay, let's play him once. Let's play him once. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, there's a creeper or whatever he's called. Creeps or creeper or whatever. Oh, these are weak cards. Oh, these are the weak cards. They're quite weak. 
These are quite weak cards. Yeah, these are quite weak cards here. Okay. Five. Yeah, let's go for this one here. Do 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 do. Yeah, we'll go for. Yeah, we'll put this one right here. We'll grab the top middle. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the top right. Top right by way of Minimog. Sure, Minimog. 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 And this should confirm our victory there. Alright, which cards are we gonna grab here? Any new cards? Oh, Grand Mantis. Yeah. Grand Mantis. And grab this card because the card is giving us the creeps. And what else? A Katurcha Pillar, sure. And another Cockatrice, sure. Cool. Cool. All right. All right. <laughs> I play. We played. We played this friendly game of cards. I would be like, "Hey, there, train conductor. Yeah, I, wanna, I, I do want to buy that ticket from you, but hey." You know, might if you just spare a few minutes and let's and we can play some cards. And, and he's like, "Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead." Go ahead. And I, 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 I uh, beat him, and he's like, "Oh." So far, all the scenes you've seen have come back saying nothing new to worry about. Have a safe trip. Okay. Hey. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was I was talking to him and like. Anyway, please go inside right away. The train to Timber will be leaving shortly. Okay. Very good. Let's go. Let us go. Ooh, nice graphics here. I like the smoke. Smoke looks so real. Smoke looks real. Okay. The train will be departing soon. Please hurry if you're getting on. Okay. Yes, we are definitely getting on. Definitely for sure. Oh, let's watch a choo-choo train, guys. The choo-choo train! I watch, watch uh, uh, Sabin just come out of nowhere and suplex this train. Oh, dang! There's like an underground tunnel. Nice. That looks cool. It actually reminds me of the of of the of the subway system here in the Bay Area. It actually uh, travels underneath the water, underneath the uh, the bay, uh, the uh, underneath the bay here. This train is awesome. A transcontinental railroad, baby. It even runs through an underwater tunnel to get the timber. Pretty cool, huh? It sure is. Guess you're not interested. By the way, Squall, you have to use the ticket to get inside. Is that a bathroom there at the upper left? Okay, we can go inside now. Confirming. Access granted. I'm gonna go check out the front. T thanks. Let's go check it out, Squall. He's like, hmm. I'm gonna go save. Alright, let's go save. Let's do so. Right here, right now. Story progression! Yo! Check it out! So this is Seed's private cabin! 
Whoa! Oh yeah, awesome! Wait, what the heck? Dude, Zell, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Make sure you're still fully clothed. <laughs> anyway, let's go, let's go talk with Selfie here. I love trains. Train, train, take us away. Take us away, far away. To the future we will go. <laughs> Alright, Zell, come on, man. Zell, bro. What's going on there, bro? <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> uh, Zell is such a kid. That's okay. That's alright. I'm glad you're so excited. <laughs> they even have magazines here. Pet Pals Volume 1. Oh uh, yeah, story progress. Blasphemy! <laughs> That's what we're doing, Backlogics. Yeah, I mean we've we've gotten all the all the deaths we ever possibly imagine. And um yeah, Squall has a has a ninety-nine strength stat. I think it's due to uh, one of the something we gave him. Something 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 caused him to have ninety-nine strength. Yeah, indeed. Yes indeed. See, Pet Pals Volume 1. I feel bad that we didn't actually, like, spend time AP farming to get all of the rest of the of the junctions. I think we're missing a couple of them across all of the, uh, all the um, GFs we have. Pet Pals Volume 1. We're going to read about cats. Today's magazine is all about cats and kittens. This is pretty damn amazing. Peace to be a member of Seed. Squall, you know anything about Timber? Um, yeah, I'd probably say this. I'd, I'd be a nice guy there. I'd be there forever, but it'll come. You learned all the ones you need to keep busy while I progress the story. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, okay. Well, that's good. I mean, we, we could have definitely spent more time. There are some there's there's some that um like there's like two refining steps that need to be done but in order to get to the amount of uh recommended uh, um like uh magics like for flair we uh, like it, it's it's we have to obtain ten, two, 10 ruby rag 10 ruby dragons for one particular item i think it's an inferno thing and then one inferno thing uh, turns into uh, so many flares or whatever, but anyway, we'll get there at some point. I feel I feel like later on, like once we have, definitely once we make some story progression here and there, I'll definitely set aside time to uh, continue off on where we left off here uh, for from like the first half of tonight. I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. Although if if, if I'm wrong, please feel free to correct me. But yeah, I don't know anything about Tim Brazil. Thought so. Well, let me fill you in. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. No kidding. What, the name of Timber? I mean, hey. If you put one and one together, you'll eventually figure that one out. But 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Timber fell. <laughs> That's a good one. Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia <laughs> by the use of 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 axes and and extremely lengthy and heavy swords ask <laughs> ask link from 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 tears of the kingdom yeah titus found that one funny yeah i don't i don't blame titus yeah <laughs> yeah titus caught on i'm 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 glad about titus this makes me feel confident in our in our Sometime in the not so distant future, Final Fantasy X playthrough. Yeah, way to go there, Titus. Titus knows what's up. <laughs> Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia. So now Timber is under Galbadian occupation, and now Galbadia owns owns the uh, lumber industry as well. 
yeah, it's like a Home Depot equivalent. They have to go through Galbadia and all that red tape and stuff. I wouldn't want to be ever on the on the corporate side of 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 those hardware stores. Not 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 even not not even not even ten not not even within uh within an earshot from them. It's said that there's a whole bunch of resistant factions, resistance factions, big and small. And Squall's like, what's your point there, bro? <laughs> nope, that's it. Due to Link's need for boats and Zolnai and motor vehicles, Timber faced the wrath of Link and his ultra hand. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now it now I I I mean that I, I'm hoping will 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 land in, in the front page of the of the Timber Gazette. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that headline right there, Backlogic. Yeah, old good Final Fantasy humor. Yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, Timber. <laughs> it's a place full of trees. It's almost like. Whatever, Zell. Whatever. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all, Zell. Hey, no problem. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Do you have motion sickness, Selfie? Okay, turn around if you're going to barf. Don't barf at Zell. Well, actually, Squall wouldn't mind if you barf in front of Zell. <laughs> You should get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. You okay? Hey, huh? What the? What's going on here? Zell's sarcasm resistance is 150%. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, he, he, he has his uh, uh, sarcasm stat um, junction to to tornado right now or something yeah it's pretty high up there <laughs> that, that's that, that's where we took the tornadoes yeah even absorb a little oh dang yeah that's pretty dang high yeah his uh sarcasm um element <laughs> yeah indeed yeah that, that that's probably what i meant to say there yeah what the something's wrong with me what's going on uh, uh, what is this? It's noise. It's piercing our ears. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm? Awesome music time. Uh, Laguna, are you sure this is the right way? Huh? Laguna? What? Laguna? Siegfried has come to take your weapons. Oh, remind me, Backlogs, where is that? Is that from, um, is that from Six? Is Siegfried, Siegfried from Six? Oh, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, who are we? Ward, Laguna, and Kiros? What? Wait, wait, wh what's going on here? What? They're us! That's us here! What the heck? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Meet him on the Phantom Train? Ah, okay, 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 okay. Oh boy, not again. Ah. Where's my disco ball? Where's the disco ball here? Let's dance. So anyway, can we just draw stuff? Sleep and scan? Sure.
Then he walks. He walks there and grabs it. Oh, nice. That's 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 cool. Let's just go attack these guys. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is so funny. That is so funny. That is so funny. I wonder what this is all about here. Oh, we got four screws. Cool. So we have uh, half. We got half of the stuff required for uh, was it Renault's ultimate weapon or something? On the Phantom Train, where you open the chest and he pushes you out of the way and takes the treasure. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to recall that. I mean, I love FF6, and I think I have. I mean, we played it enough so I can get the main story, but that particular part is a bit is a bit cloudy. No, I'm, I'm cloud. No, there's no cloud in FF6. Well, I believe what you're saying. I believe what you're saying, though. I mean, I'm just saying. I just it's, I somehow can't I can't recall that. I'm sure I'm sure you're right, though. Dead a few screws was probably. Probably, or or maybe or or maybe, maybe uh, the maybe we're in the dream and all this doesn't really matter. I mean, we're 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 fighting figments of our of each of our imagination, all existing, you know, in some in some congregational area of subconscious or something. I don't know what I just. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like a shadow. Yes, indeed, it's like a shadow. Yeah. Do 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 do. <laughs> the realm of my of your conscious thought. Yeah, indeed, realm. And yeah, bring her sketch glitches with her as well. Her sketch glitch ability. Oh my gosh, this looks pretty. But the water looks kind of murky. I would I wouldn't drink from it. Green colored water is probably full of algae and and uh, probably you know some people would argue it's it's great because it's full of probiotics you know it's probiotic water there you go probiotic water I, I just gave I, I just gave some water bottling company a million dollar idea for free yeah exactly captain what the freaking heck and rocking music here Rockin' music here! Eee. Oh, we can card these guys, actually! Yeah, we can card these guys! Yeah, so full of probiotics it goes right through you, yes! That just looks so funny. That just looks so freaking funny. Wait, what happened? Did we destroy him? I think we did. Oh, let's go do this. Trying to recall who has what here. Yeah, Ward can attack, and Kiros can try to card. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're, we're attacking actually quite quite hard here. You need a mug for your coffee. Fair enough. All right, Bahamut. All right, we'll we'll we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait for your mug. Mug of mug full of coffee. <laughs> How does one come to the conclusion that a humongous harpoon is their weapon of choice? Well, I mean, I guess the heavier the weapon, the more uh, it can penetrate pretty much more things than a lighter weapon. And probably also number two, because it's heavy, only a select few people can wield such a weapon. And the, the and, and that dude throwing that that huge weapon it looks like he's he's pretty strong looks like he has some he has some muscles to toss that thing and then <laughs> we'll run all the way and retrieve it 
So I, I, I guess maybe that's why. I don't know, I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong there. Hey, aren't we here to fight a war, you know, against the almighty Timber Army? Yeah, so why are we wasting our time messing with these animals? Well, you see, it's just that, uh... Don't tell me we're lost again. Anyway, we're going home. Delling City, here we come! W wait Laguna! <laughs> uh, more brawn than brains there, it seems like that last dude there. Water! No, we got all the waters we'd ever need for the entirety of the game here. Okay, um, what am I looking for here? Yeah, let's go, uh, fo go check out what everyone's learning, what their status is there. Okay. Flux! Good night, friends. Well, yeah, oh, thank you for the hundo bits. Welcome in. Hope you had a pleasant Tuesday evening and, uh, good to see you, but then I guess you have to go. Just, you, 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 uh, we're generous enough to pop on in and say hi and also cheer. And uh, that is just so awesome. Yeah, Flux. Flux, always appreciate your presence here. No matter what duration, no matter how long you stay here. But yeah, you also have a wonderful night as well. We'll continue this wonderful game for another half-ish hours or so. Yeah, another 30 minutes-ish or so. But, uh, yeah, I'm assuming that you're going to be stepping out. So, if you are, indeed, then you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thanks again for the hundo bits there. Thank you for the continuing support. And, uh, and I look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. <laughs> we'll be playing more of this wonderful game. It's called Final Fantasy VIII. And some people call it the Triple Triad game. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, I think... Oh, yeah, actually, hold on. Let's go back up here. Let's heal up. We bought a bunch of potions. Let's go ahead and use them on ourselves, question mark? Ourselves, question mark? Is that us? Get on our thing. Are we, like, metal gearing here now? Oh, not metal gear, um... Uh, what is the word? Uh, metal slug. Looks like it's metal slug here. H hey, can't park in the middle of the street. Chill, man. It's cool. All right, then. How's about a drink? I'm not just here for the booze, are we? Got a war to fight. So we'll get smashed and then we'll charge. Kiros, Ward, you two seem to misunderstand. I just want to have a friendly drink with you two. Ooh, who's that? What are those? What they be? What they be here? Okay. Alright, let's go north. Oh, look at that nice little fountain there. Fountain with the water. With the waters. And there's some kind of spotlight there at the top. Well, oh, this looks pretty. This all looks uh, pretty. Let's go north under the gateway. There we go. Ah, there's a car in front of us, so I see a door right there. Let's just go through that door. Ooh, okay. Where are we at here? Okay, there's a ladder near the door. Okay, so I see that here. I want to use a ladder. Yeah, let's go down.
Ooh, save point. Save point. Save point. Let's go save. Sure, okay, we'll, we'll save on both slots here. Save on both slots. And that's us right here. That's how we look like in an alternate universe. Or in an alternate universe. Or something. Some kind of an alternate universe of there. Okay, so... So... Go through here. You're digging the music here, Backlot. It's man. So even the even the music during our uh, our random our random encounters here, there's a rocking uh, rocking little uh, electro beat, some EDM going on here during the the, the battles. Yeah, the our 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 Laguna there was shaking there, it was shaking to the beat. Wait, what? Wait, why can't we go through here? Wait, what's going on here? What is going on here? This sounds... You know the, the, the bass line here and the bass used here? This is giving me a lot of Super NES Final Fantasy vibes. Yeah, this this sounds like a baseline I, I I remember hearing for the first time in four. Not the literal baseline, but the but the instrument, the sound of the instrument itself. I think we are actually supposed to go down here, but I just... Okay, yeah, so it's gated over there. Just, okay, I can get it. You link the live version, that Laguna battle theme, Man with the Machine Gun, or Nobuo Uematsu's on the keyboards playing with the band. Oh, nice! Cool! Thanks, Backline. I'll be so looking forward to hearing it. If not tonight, definitely tomorrow. Uh, uh, um, like on my... My in between uh, work times during work, my break time. Okay. Ah, oh, why can't I go through? Well, because I was supposed to go the other way. Now was I? Yeah, I was probably supposed to go the other way. Okay. You you, you want to say it is when it, when he turned with the black mages? Okay. Are you saying you're probably not a hundred percent sure, but you think it's highly likely that's when it was done? Is that what you mean? Okay, uh, I'll say no. I don't know what the heck it's asking. What does it want me to do here? What the heck is it wanting me to do here? Is there a way to walk across? What uh, the heck? I see a thing right there. Ah! Why can't I proceed? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do here? I'm not running into any enemies at all whatsoever here. What the heck? All right, hold on. Let me let me go do a search here. This is a bit. This is getting aggravating here. Why can't I proceed? Delling city sewer. The video doesn't say specifically, but you think you've seen this, those same band members from other Black Mages concert videos? Oh, okay, okay. Just trying to go off your uh, best uh, knowledge. 
I do an amazing version of the Zaramus bossing. Ooh, nice. That does look nice. Oh, we have to open the gates. Oh, we have to interact with them somehow. Okay, we have to interact with them somehow. Okay, what do we do here? We have to interact with the gates. Okay, so it looks like we have to open this gate right here. I think this is what we need to do. No, 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 no. Okay, finally. We got some battle here. We got something here. Red Bat. Okay, so. We should try drawing stuff from it. Okay, well, well, they, well they recommended that we try drawing, but... I noticed that we're... It's, so this is telling us to, to draw some... Oh, some spell. Some really unique spell here. Anyway, whatever. Let's go take it out. Let's take it out here. There we go. Oh, we can walk on the water wheels? Wait, we can walk on the water wheels? Is that true? Okay, we definitely can't walk this way. Okay. There has to be some way to progress here. I mean, there has to be. There has to be. I see a gap right there. Right there. Why can't I proceed? What's going on? Why can't I proceed there? So apparently... Can we like jump across or something? I mean we have to... How else can we interact here? How else can we make progress here? Oh my goodness. Are we gonna be spending the... Are we gonna be spending a half an hour trying to figure out how to... How to, how to proceed? Like what on earth? Oh, there we are. Oh, no, never mind. I pressed a button here. Okay, anyway. I think that's just that's just the save. Anyway, I think we're fine here. Okay, I think we're done here. We are done. I think we're done with this this portion here. Okay. Okay, now let's, now let's go back over to where we got out of our military car. Okay. Okay, now we'll go back to where we just got out of our car. And then make some progress here. Okay, so apparently that visit to the to the sewer was strictly only for um, for drawing magic. That's apparently what that was all about there. Okay, now that we're here, now we're going to go east. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, military car will pass by and we'll continue on. A couple of cars will pass. Yep. You know stream is ending shortly. Your daughter's having trouble sleeping, wants to sleep with you tonight. You're gonna head out. Okay, alright, awesome. Okay, 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 okay. No worries, no worries. Awesome as in it's all good. I I I I, I can I can understand. She's giving you the look about going to bed and not staying up any longer. Okay, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Do what you got to do. You know, be there for your daughter. It's all good. All good. Yep, you have a good night as well, Backlogics. As always, it's great seeing you here. And uh, we're going to enjoy some more Final Fantasy tomorrow. If you can be able to make it tomorrow, that's going to be super awesome. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Have a wonderful sleep. And hope your, your daughter also has a wonderful sleep as well. All right. All right. Okay. Now, we'll be going to the hotel. Well, let's go enter it. Ooh, save point. Save point. Let's go save. Yeah, we sold this crew. This new crew here at Laguna Kiros and whatever the heck the other person's name is here. All right. Okay. And, you know, we should go down here. What are we going to see here? Oh, hey, look at this. This looks fancy. This looks fancy. Welcome. Your usual table is ready. Huh? Excuse me? What? What's wrong? I... I don't know. <laughs> to what? Uh... Alright. Wait, which one is it? One of, one of our tables is ready here. Yeah, let's take a load off. There we go. Thanks! Is this a dream? Laguna's pretty cute. What's going on? What's happening to me? Didn't, didn't, didn't our original crew was all saying that? At ease, men. We're going all out tonight. Right, boys? May I take your order? The usual. Me too. Keep them coming. So, Laguna. Julia should be making her appearance soon. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your word. Come on, go leave to her. Give me a break. So you say, but we know you'll do it. Okay. Let's walk up to the piano. I wonder what this is about. Ah, to be this close to Julia. Is this guy serious? Uh-oh. My leg's cramping up. Arg! What the heck? Ow! Ow. 
What, did, did he just get gout all of a sudden or something? Or what the heck? His leg all spazzed out? Sad. What the heck was that all about? <laughs> Anyway, okay, now now I can walk normally now. Okay, what the freaking heck was that all about? <laughs> what was that all about? Okay, let's go return to my table. Good work, Laguna. Mission successful. Here, have a seat. <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually do it. Our pop popularity rating's gone up a point. Yeah, but you cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. I'd say you're about a minus three on the manliness scale. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's 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 harsh. <laughs> say what you want. <sighs> Julia sure is pretty. Ah. Huh? Laguna, we're taking off. Hey, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. Oh, hey. May I? Ah! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Did I interrupt anything? N -n -n not at all. Please, s sit down. Oh man, oh man, it's really her. What do I do? Karos Ward, help! What do I say? But man, she is pretty. What's this guy thinking? You okay now? Kind of. <laughs> How's your leg? L leg? Oh, this? E yeah, it's fine. Happens all the time when I get nervous. <coughs> Were you nervous? Oh, yeah, I'm still kinda. You can relax. You don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. Say, would you like to talk somewhere private? I have a room here. I in your room? Well, it's pretty hard to talk freely here. Everyone's listening in. If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. You don't want to? Of course I do. <laughs> then I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? Okay. We will do so. Am I dreaming? This is a dream. This is a dream. No, this can't be a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. Julia wants to talk to me. He talks to himself too much. And just the two of us. Get it together, Laguna. Whatever. I always screw up by talking about myself too much. It's always been like that, but not tonight. I'm all ears for Julia. Ah, time to use my manling charm and help Julia with her problem. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go talk to the woman at the reception area. Is that it right there? No, I actually have to probably go back up here now, don't we? Yeah, I have to go back up here. And talk. Oh, actually, let's go save first. Let us save our game first. Save our game, so we're just flying solo here. Just flying solo here. At this very point right here. Okay. Welcome, checking in. Which is Julia's room? W w which Is he really going? Ah, Mr. Laguna Loire? I've been expecting you. Let me show you to Miss Julia's room.
thanks for coming. No, not at all. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. What the heck? What the heck? What on earth? Going so soon, we haven't even talked yet. No, it's not that. Just that I'm a big fan of yours, so I'm really kind of nervous, you know? So that's why you come to hear me play so often. You, you saw me? You were always smiling while listening, right? You have beautiful eyes, though they look a bit scared now. Don't worry, I'm not going to pluck them and eat them. I just want to talk, gazing into those eyes. Would you like a drink? Wine, perhaps? I must be dreaming. Yeah, I don't like fighting too much. But you get to travel, you know? Seeing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kiros and Ward are always with me. Hey, we should go out drinking sometime. We should all go out drinking sometime. What do you say? And, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I want to quit the army and become a journalist. So I can tell people about all the things I've seen on my travels. He's already loosened up. So, like, the other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was way cool. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I think that's the, only, that's the only thing Julia said after like, what, four or five uh, text boxes of conversation all coming from Laguna here. Oh yeah, and then... Yikes, I'm talking too much again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes? Tell me about yourself. Like... Your dreams for the future. I I want to sing. Not just play the piano, but sing too. Oh, I'd really love to hear it. But I can't. I'm no good at writing lyrics. Hmm, that must be tough. But, thanks to you, I think I could come up with something. Thanks to me? Yes. The many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt pain deep inside you. Your smile, your face, your eyes. You've shown me something. I think I could come up with a song. Wow, I must be dreaming. It's not a dream, is it? Wow. Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. Can we meet again? Of course, I have to come here you sing. Awesome, awesome. Next stop, Timber, Timber. Oh, hey! Next stop, Timber, Timber. Wow, is that Squall? Squall was dreaming? Were we all asleep? Maybe someone released some sleeping gas? There's lots of people who resent seed. Maybe. Better be careful. 
Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? I don't think so. What a relief. Everything's cool with me. He, I had a, a, such a nice dream. I had a dream too. That wasn't nice though. I dreamt I was a moron. <laughs> we'll be arriving in Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you have all your belongings. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool! Do we all have the same dream? Hey, there was a Laguna in my dream too. He's a Galbadian soldier, right? Laguna, Kiros, and Ward. Huh? That's it! That's what? There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our first mission. I guess you're right. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to back to garden. We should be there soon, huh? Here we go. Psych yourself up, baby! Phew, still sleepy. All right. Choo choo train. I like that sudden abrupt stop there. <laughs> Oh, this looks cool. The nice, uh... It, you see that th this whole area has its own uh, palette there. And Bahamut's enjoying the music there. Yeah, this game has some good music. The game indeed has some great music here. Brian. Oh, the Forest of Timber sure have changed. But the owls are still around. Welcome to Timber, sir. Come with me, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, there's a card. There's a card. A uh, magazine. And... Yeah, there's a card in a magazine here. Yeah, we're gonna challenge someone to get a to get an Angelo card. It's called an Angelo card. Okay, let's go uh see if we can find a a safe spot. Can we find a safe spot? On vacation? That's not fair. My Jordy's in there. I hate this pet shop. I was just to walk this way, okay. Please, please, this way, sir. Is that graffiti on the train? Even in fi the graffiti in in inside of a Final Fantasy VIII? Okay. So, you guys are seeds? I'm the squad leader, Squall. This is Zell and Selfie. Nice to meet you. I'm the leader of the Forest Owls. Squall doesn't shake anyone's hand. You know who else doesn't do that? 
a uh, a character from a uh, recent game cre uh, released by Hideo Kojima. I won't, I won't mention who specifically, but there's a recent character from a recent game that this whole thing is not shaking anyone's hand. So, let's get on with it. What do we do? Just take it easy. Here, let me introduce you. Looks like you already met Watts. Guess it's just our princess, then. It's the princess's nap time, sir. Aw, man. Hey, Squall, sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask him if, ask him if you get lost. Were we hired to run errands? Well, uh, are you angry? We're not golfers. We're seed special forces. <laughs> this is the last time for this kind of thing. Ow! Ow! Ouch! What the heck? What the freaking heck? Squall, way to go, you tell him. They can't treat us that way. Yeah, that's right. That's right. These guys don't seem to have it together. Get ready for the strategy meeting, sir. Yeah, Wads is who we should be uh, challenging to a card, to a triple triad uh, uh, game. And we'll probably do that later. Let's first see if we can find a save point somewhere. Let's see if there is a save point somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's go over here. Yeah, we reached the four hour session mark, so I feel like we should save our game for the evening. Let's go save across all all of these saves here. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay. So we reached the four hour session mark here tonight. So we're about to wrap stream up here tonight. If you guys have any last minute questions or any comments regarding our stream here or anything else, please go ahead and mention them. So what is it? Three of the four hours. We're playing nothing but triple triad, and we got we got plenty of a couple of um, spells to use over the course of a couple of days of streaming. Nothing but triple triad. Definitely didn't get every single uh, possible um, accessible spell at the moment of those of, of uh, any of the august spells and especially the tornado and meltdown we didn't get a whole bunch of them but i'm sure after whatever it is that we're going to be going through here uh we'll take a little break from the story uh definitely one thing that we'll we'll do i'm oh i shall have in mind there's no guarantee that we will because we didn't do it we didn't do any of it here uh tonight but that's uh ap grinding and uh, learning more of them abilities. So yeah, uh, one of our GFs is in the middle of learning a, uh, a stat junction and in the middle of learning a, uh, a refinement ability. Um, I think we have all the refinement abilities definitely up to this point, up to um, this one particular uh, Reddit page that was linked to me that I'm, um, that I'm studying off of. As far as like uh, which spells to uh, try to obtain uh, this early on, um, but we also have uh, w one of our uh, GFs is learning mid magic refinement, which I'm not sure. Like, would that just take whatever our regular magic refinement would output, and mid magic would like? instead refine a much more stronger version of what the other refinement does or something. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just guessing at that. But I'm sure we're going to find out maybe by tomorrow. 
Um, we're definitely going to continue a story progression here. We're in the middle of of some story events going on here, and I'm planning on seeing if we can be able to finish up whatever whatever's going to be happening here within the train. It looks like there's going to be some kind of a puzzle element going on here, and then a, and then after that, following there will be a boss fight here. So we're going to go ahead and take care of all that, uh, or start towards taking care of uh, what we're. You know, this whole train business here starting tomorrow and whatever we'll have time left over we may dedicate that for uh more uh uh triple triad and we're definitely gonna be playing we're definitely gonna be playing triple triad with uh, with uh, one of the guys there in uh, the first uh, area of the train where where uh where well uh, we met this uh uh this guy here who's asking about the princess so yeah the, the guy we'll be playing cards against, I guess his name is Watts, so that's what we're going to be, uh, the, the next time we'll be playing Triple Triad will be against Watts. I believe that's what we're going to be doing, and I don't, I'm not sure about post-train story, but likely it may or may not be a missable card. But I'm going to safely assume that's probably as missable. And we have pretty strong cards. I'd say we'd have a good chance on getting this uh, Angelo card from Watts tomorrow. I'm pretty sure. And that's probably what we're going to start off with tomorrow. I think highly likely we're going to start off with uh, with uh, a couple of uh, a couple of uh, games of uh, Triple Triad and get that Angelo card. There we go. So that's all we'll do. So that all said, that all said, everyone, thanks so much for being here tonight, for uh, supporting us here, especially Flux with the hundo bits here. And you guys making your presence here, you guys always make my evening an awesome evening. I mean, I mean, just playing retro games by itself is an awesome thing, but to do it in front of all of you great people, supportive, and enjoying whatever it is that we're going through here, all these games that we play here. You guys mean a lot to me. You guys really do. So next stream will be tomorrow. More Final Fantasy VIII. We're gonna kick off where we've left off here and hope to see all of you here. But until then, so Ice Turbo signing off. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope to see you guys tomorrow night for more Final Fantasy VIII. All right, take care, everyone. See you next time. Have a good night and sweet dreams.